fell over. Get on, get on, Link, get on. Oh, good. Oh. Hey there, folks. Uh, sorry for the delay once again. Uh, OBS giving me giving me issues. Uh, I'm uh, it's it's incredibly unreliable. I, I just started it up just like I did yesterday when I did my Saturday morning stream or Saturday afternoon stream, and uh, you know, I hadn't touched it since then. But suddenly, the uh, console did not show up. It was a black screen. Which is less than ideal, as you may know, if you're trying to show people video games, and the video game itself is a black screen. So I was not terribly thrilled with this, and I just now got it fixed. So anyway, we're about to leap into the fray once again. Uh, yeah, well, let's not quibble about the past, although it is it is incredibly frustrating. OBS, you just I just need some consistency from you. I mean, I don't even know how I got it working. I just started deleting stuff and re-uploading stuff, and eventually the screen popped up, and we were all good. So... Yeah, good good times here, good times. So, here we go. Uh, when we last left off, we had actually gone on a bunch of tangents, which ended up being cool, because that's how we got these nifty white boots and that cool blue shirt, which actually has one better armor stat than what we had before with the soldier's armor. We, actually, we also got a few soldier's bows. We also found the guy selling the cocoa seeds, or the korok seeds, or whatever the heck they're called. We found them inadvertently in the main town hub. And so that was, that was a great boon. So we've got our weapon slot has been upgraded quite a bit. So overall, just we, we got a lot done, and oh, there, there's a geoglyph. We probably want to go to that, get another cutscene. But first and foremost, we are headed to the tower. Now, I do want to look. We, we ended up here because there was a beacon. Oh, yeah, we just finished a shrine. Uh, we've, we, we, that was the last thing we did yesterday. So don't, don't, you don't want to miss that nonstop action. Go ahead and check out that, that video. I do, I do post them, or, I mean, obviously Rumble posts them. Um, for viewing afterward. Uh, you know, there's a bad guy there. We're gonna wait to attack him. Right right now, I think getting to the tower is more important. It's very important for me to remain focused, more or less, on my quest. Uh, now, there is a big behemoth standing in my way. Should I? I'm thinking if I could, if I could get a sneak attack with the eight-fold blade approved sneak strike. It may be worth it. So we're going to try to sneak up on this turd muffin and see what happens. We can see the game is auto-saving for us. I think it knows something we don't, a la we're going to get wrecked here. But, I mean, he is sleeping. Okay, never mind. No. Not here. You can't see me, bastard. You cannot see me! Take your ridiculous little loincloth. No, come back! I want you to fall asleep. Yes. No, oh, he's a big dude too, isn't he? You get tired, you getting close your eyes. Alright, side on, don't blow my cover. Don't blow my cover. Oh, dang it, he's looking right at us. Oh, yeah. That took out like half his life there. But I need to get more of it if we're gonna pull this off. Okay, we did it, yes! Ooh. And we got lots of cool stuffs. All right, so the you know the first time we used that that sword, the 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 sneaky eightfold thing, it didn't actually it didn't seem like it gave us that much of a benefit. But as you saw there, we took off half his health before he woke up, before he knew what hit him, which was a eightfold blade that we got from assassin guys. Now I kind of wish I'd picked up the other one. But that's all right. We're good. We are making our way to the tower. You can see the map. We have we've not somehow this is a huge part of the map that w has gone unexplored. So I'm looking forward to seeing what there is to see. Got some wolves down there. And the great thing is with Sidon, uh, I have a much better chance of getting two. Count them two. B 
beef patties before they, they can escape. Usually they howl, I beat one of them, and the other ones run away, but with Sidon, he makes sure that none of them escape. Yeah, so I'm feeling pretty good about where we are in general. Now, the bummer is... Um... Well, that, that, that right there, that's a bummer. That's a, that's a pretty big bummer. Okay. Uh, thank you, game, for not making me start before combat. Um, that was decidedly a bummer, and am I making the same mistake twice? It looks like that may be the case. Okay, good. Good. No, I, I thought I had enough to, to make it. So clearly, this is some kind of... Well, it's not quicksand, otherwise we wouldn't have been able to get out of it. But it's some kind of not water substance. Um, now, maybe our swimsuit... That's what I'll call it. it it's its much, you know, much cooler than that. But our swimsuit might have enabled us to get through that. We'll have to see if that's the only way we can get off is to swim. I mean, that can't be right, though, because if you didn't have it, you'd be stuck here. And surely this game would not strand you somewhere that you don't want to be. That would be messed up. Ah, but... Yep, we're still going towards the tower. Cool. Alright, so these look like... Uh, well, they are in fact ruins. Which is interesting, because last episode we spent most of our time in a ruined castle. Although that did yield some pretty nifty... Nifty rewards. We got a bunch of rupees. We, we found some... I mean, the, the it sucks, the boots... I mean, the boots kind of match... I don't know. He looks. He looks a little. Uh, I don't know. I, I think. I think if he had the rest of the castle guard ensemble, he'd look much more formidable. But I do like. I like the fact that the his. What what I think of when I think of like this game, Tears of the Kingdom, like that that upper armor that he has. I like the fact that that actually has the highest weapons class, and it looks like this is a friend, a future friend. Hey, over here! Hey! Hello, my brother in research! I was waiting for you! Oh. That's right! I'm the one who discovered these big ruins way out here! How'd you get through the swamplands? You can't have a glider, but you do have hemp and rope, which, as I understand, is, uh, key. A uh, new boot goofin. Uh, oh! <laughs> it took me a second. Llama. Uh, don't worry, I'm here! <laughs> <laughs> New boot. Where were you yesterday, Llama? Goodness gracious. I was all by myself here. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding, of course. No, no trust me. I, I'm i not. But uh, um, it, it, went, it went pretty well yesterday. But wait, New Boot Goofin? I don't know what that means. New Boot Goofin. I don't know if that's a... The, the, yeah, I, I've had two... Like, two weekends now where I've had an issue with OBS that has made me late to my stream. I'm very punctual, usually. I'm there right when I say I start. A uh, baby shower. <laughs> I gotcha. You know, wait a minute. Okay. Google it. Wait, at a baby shower? Boot goopin? What? What's going on? H hang on a second. I, I have to, I must check out these mysteries very quickly. All right, so boot goofin. Oh, new boot goofin. Lieutenant Dangle is a fashion icon with his new boots. Okay, are you you're you're okay, okay. I didn't I didn't think it was gonna be a barb against my ensemble. That's that's unacceptable, sir. Unacceptable. I, I take great umbrage. But you're not wrong, Doug Gun it. You're not wrong. And you know what? It, it is true. I'm pretty sure the boots have the same um have the same armor class as the soldier boots, so I might swap them out. Because they really are they're a bit flamboyant, I'm not going to lie. I, I, white boots, I mean, even when they're seasonal, white boots are a bit ridiculous. But yeah, well, I hope the baby shower was, was, was fun. Um, I, I, didn't, I didn't know, I don't, I don't think I've ever been to one. I don't think I've ever been invited to a baby shower, uh, which, is, which is fine. I, I don't know that I would get a whole lot, uh, get a whole lot out of it, but. Interesting is wait a minute, wait a minute. Uh let me refresh this. Okay, good, good. I yeah, sorry. The I just wanted to make sure. Uh let's see. Made with genuine ostrich. Wait, mine or his? The 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 boot goofin or mine? Either way, 
they're still very white <laughs> and very, uh, very, very, very much an eyesore, I think. Um. <laughs> uh, that's oh, I love that the line from Mega Mind when he's like, um, oh, what do you say, my uh, my shiny baby seal leather boots. <laughs> ah, great, great movie, one of my favorites, uh, one of, of animated anyway. Dangle. Do you have kiddos? I do not, sir. I do not. I have uh, do not have a significant other, which uh, makes kiddos very difficult. Which is okay. I've never longed to be a father. Um, now that I'm getting a little bit older, I don't know that I would mind it. Um, but the opportunity is yet to present itself uh, for mutual uh, attraction slash uh, affection for for a lady. So, um, 43 years old, never had a girlfriend. But don't cry for me. Don't cry for me. It's what allows me to game so much. <laughs> no, it's fine. It's fine. Um, it's why I'm I'm pursuing Zelda because she is. What do they call it? A waifu or something? I don't know. I, th this is divulging. It's it's all because we're talking about white boots. That's that's where this whole problem started. Uh, but yeah, I I, I don't. Uh, m most of my friends do. Almost all of my friends have have are married with kids now. How dare you, sir? How dare you give me the sideways monkey glare? <laughs> uh, that's why I wrote to the Zonai survey team asking them to dispatch a researcher to assist me. Mm -hmm. And here you are, practically right after I sent my letter. Great response time! Oh, you're in for rude awakening. Although those are my same gestures that were telling people very complicated uh, things about Zelda. It. What? You're not a Zonai survey team researcher. You're just some guy. No, I am the freaking hero of time. I have an awesome sword. I've got awesome ostrich boots. You might have a head of height on me, but I am still formidable, sir. I see. Aww. So few people come through here. Yeah, because it's a swamp infested with quicksand all around it. You have to be a goober to come out here, and I don't believe you dragged this tent through all that either. You're a fraud, sir, a fraud, and your hairstyle gives you away. I should give you my white boots. You deserve them. And actually, your boots look kind of cool. Dang it. <laughs> no, man, I, I know Lama. I was I, I I don't I don't take them as 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 barbs at all. Um, it, uh, but it but it but it's not a choice. Like it's you know if you do whatever makes you happy, it's like eh, I'd like to at least try dating, see what it's like. I might not like it, but you know, going on a few dates that that might be kind of nice. Um, but that's just not the way life is shaking out. Doesn't mean I can't find love when I'm in my eighties. I'm sure there's lots of. Good times to be had there. After all the trouble I've gone to, can't they send one assistant to help with my monolith research? I really want to say good luck with that, but I don't want to miss out on a possible pointer. Oops, did you hear that? Sorry. Scrub that from your brain. It's not meant to be public knowledge. Mm. It's not public knowledge. I'm the only one who knows it. It's, it's between you and me. I'm not going to tell anybody. Trust me. I'm not going to tell anybody that I know who you are. Kazool. Okay, you sound like a villain. I expect you to tear off your face and have like a hideous, grotesque visage under there. Don't go on Grinder, Dude! Wait, was it Grinder? Oh, no, Hinge. Somebody recommended Hinge. Uh, they actually found, I think they're going to be getting married in the next year. They found the love of their life on, on Hinge. Uh, but yeah, I don't think I've tried Grinder. I didn't try Bumble, because some of them just have a thing like, and look, it's just, it's my thing. Like, I'm not looking for a hookup. I'm not looking for casual sex. Like, I, I'd want to start the foundation of a relationship that's going to go the distance. Um, and I'm looking for all that kind of stuff. Most of what I understand, those kind of apps and everything are designed for, hey, if you want to meet up and do the thing, then then here you go. So I haven't really gone. I, I went with Hinge because a friend recommended it. But it, I've had the same experience there. Um, you know, none of the gals that I, I mean, I, usually I find about 10 or 15 gals that I'm like, oh, I'm curious. I'd like to, you know, pursue a conversation with. Never get a response from there. The only person I get a response from, or the only people I hear from, are people that ignore everything that I say in the profile. And it's like, if you read the profile, you'd know we're not compatible in any way, shape, or form. But they're reaching out anyway, or there's just no interest. And it's just, I, I don't like, even if it's inadvertent, I don't like rejecting people. So it's like, look, if all I'm going to be doing is getting rejected and reject people, what's the point? Uh, has nothing to do with mortar and pestle. 
I found my wife live streaming when I was in the Marine Corps. Oh, that's awesome. My wife was supposed to be a one night stand and I was her rebound. Here we are six years later. Wow. Wow. Awesome. <laughs> uh, mortar and pestle. Isn't that more about house? Isn't mortar and pestle? Isn't that the, the home building thing? But, um, but that's awesome that you you found her when you were in the Marine Corps. And so she was live streaming, or you were live streaming, and she was on your live stream. Either way, that's that's a that's a that's a great story. And and yeah, it's um, I would just say I I would probably say like the likelihood, perhaps percentage wise, of going into it thinking it's just a one and done deal versus kind of going into it with the expectation of it the percentage wise probably like i'm probably more likely to find what i'm looking for not getting into the immediate you know relationship or not looking for a rebound or what what have you uh than than if i did but um i'm glad it i'm glad it worked out uh and and like you said six years later i can't remember do you have kids llama i can't remember i mean it would make sense you said baby shower it could have been your baby are you are you are you expect is your wife expecting? Uh, yeah no okay yeah sorry I I may have missed all that I thought and I was like it's kind of weird for a well not weird but it's uncommon I would say for a guy to be invited to a uh, baby shower you know we're invited to bachelor parties and things of that nature baby shower is a little less common unless it's your baby that's having a shower for her, in which case it's very common I would imagine so uh, perhaps congratulations are in order are you about to be a father in the in a short time. Two-year-old and one due in September. So it is your baby. Congratulations on baby number two and two-year-old. That's great because I, I think I think it's it's awesome when siblings are close in age. My sister and I are six years apart. It's not the worst in the world, but you do like we're no we were never in the same school. We never you know we're never at the bus stop together. I think it's awesome if you have you know kids that are like two three years apart. Um, you know not not yeah I mean even one year apart, but that's awesome because then they they kind of grow up together you know, to a degree. One's being a little more of a mentor, but um, that that's cool that they'll get to, you know, kind of, like I said, go, go through a lot of the same things together. But congratulations. Sorry, congratulations, September. Wow. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's right around the corner. Yeah, it's like three months away. Wow. Oh, it wasn't your baby shower. It was a friend's. My wife's in July. Woo, and you planned it. That is fantastic. That is... You know, I, I, lots of folks have the oops, <laughs> didn't, didn't, didn't see that coming. A lot of them, uh, to be fair, were friends who were reliant on natural birth control, which is an oxymoron. I think it's, it's not control. If it's natural, na nature is procreate uh, frequently and often for the most part. Uh, so relying on, on natural measures to just be like, oh, we'll just do it when it's not supposed to happen. Those are all the friends that had the, okay, we're pregnant. <laughs> Here we are. Um, but no, that's awesome you planned it. But yeah, congrats, man. That's that's fantastic. Uh, are you, I mean, not to get too personal, but are you, um, oh, yeah, first was our hoops. <laughs> well, I mean, clearly you you handled that well. And, you know, you said you planned it for the second one. So clearly you got things under wraps. You know what you're, what you're doing. And, you know, it's not like it derailed you. It seems like it maybe just accelerated something that you weren't necessarily looking to do. But um, that's that's fantastic. That is fantastic. Um, and usually, I mean, not usually, but a lot of folks, I know a lot of my friends, they've got two and they're like, all right, that's, that's about good. Are you thinking, Hey, big family, or are you just going to kind of see how it, how it goes? If you're from the zone, I survey team, I could tell you all about what I've discovered so far, but you're not. So mm, I appreciate the offer, but that's really not allowed. You were going to trust me. If I just said I was part of the survey team, regardless of the fact that I'm wearing ridiculous white boots and a soldier's helmet, you were like, oh, totally. Let's be besties and, and do all this stuff together. And now that I'm saying, hey, I'll help you out when nobody else will come out to this godforsaken pit hole you, you've you established your goofy little camp in. And now you're like, oh, I don't want your help. No, it's not allowed. Whatever. <laughs> I like the way I'm vibing off to. I'm... I'm feeling two. Two would be nice. Two is two is great. Wife once more. Yeah, that's uh, that's a that's a bit of a tough one. That's a bit of a tough one. I have a friend who has the, uh, the opposite thing. He wanted more. She only wanted two. It's. I think it's a little harder to. To. I don't know. To, uh, to for lack of a better term, uh, dictate or or really chime in. It's like if she wants more. Ah. But I mean, consideration to be taken in. I mean, it's like you're going, look, I can, I can handle two. 
This is what I feel like I can do without being spread thin. Like, it's a tricky thing. It's a tricky thing, but I, I won't, you know, don't, don't want to go too far into the, into the personal uh, life there. But, um, but, but I hear you. I, I think, I think two would be my sweet spot as well. Um, I think a lot of people say when the kids outnumber the adults, when the kids outnumber the parents, that's when you're in trouble or when things get more complicated. So, and who knows? She, she may feel differently after the second one. Now was your wife, is your first, was your first one very like cool and chill and, and pretty nice? Cause usually that's what happens. Nature gives you, nature gives you the nice, easy going firstborn. So you think, oh, this is cake. I can handle it. It's no problem. And the second one is like a hellion. Usually that's what it, not all the time, but usually that's the way it goes so that it, it tricks you into having more because you think you can handle it because if they're all just kind of like yes okay i'm just gonna chill i'm not gonna cry i'm not gonna do whatever i'm gonna poop in my diaper and and do it nicely and then you know whatever um so who knows if the second one is a little more rambunctious maybe she'll be willing to she'll be she'll be vibing off too as well <laughs> and again though he may not be a researcher he does have the look of an adventure about him yes i do disregard my white boots maybe his expertise will get things back on track ah. You know what? You're hired. For this project alone, I am appointing you as my research assistant. Come on, let's find out what secrets these ruins are hiding. Oh. Well then, we can dive right in. Are you going to be useful? I'll start by showing you what my research has uncovered so far. Wait there. Hmm. Easy baby, crazy kid. He's smart and that's scary. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like, personally, I wouldn't be, the part that I would be, like, eh, about the most is, like, the young, like, the, up through, like, two and a half, three years, where they're not really communicating a lot, they're pooping a lot, doing everything, but I understand from friends telling me and, and experiencing it, like, when they're smart enough, when they can stand, when they're ambulatory, and they can move at a good clip, like, faster than you can react, and they can start doing latches and getting into things, and they're smart, and they're aware of stuff, and they know what you're up to, uh yeah that's when it gets that's when the real game begins the first part is just a slog it's like uh, all you do is poop and cry like what, what is this but yeah i think it's when they can actually start talking back and understanding what's going on that that's that's danger right there uh but i think i might take the danger over the diapers i don't know i that that, that that's the part if i ever do do it i do 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 it <laughs> if i ever if it ever happens I, i'll probably have to marry somebody who is like you know what you handle all these other things. I will handle the pooping cleaning because I don't even handle cat turds very well. Just fecal matter, fecal matter and blood and gore, like l real blood and gore, not in the movies, but like in real life. Uh, my stomach doesn't handle them very well. And I don't mean that I eat them. I just mean my sensibilities. Oof. What, did he hurt himself? Oh, no, he was just dragging it out. No. Take a look! I think you'll be pretty surprised by this discovery and the fact that my voice has changed because you can't remember what voice you're using to voice me. Okay, anyway. <clears throat> Display the power of the Sage of Water in the presence of the Six Dragons. Okay. Mm. Eh? Eh? Aren't you surprised? Mm. I take your restrained reaction to mean you've never seen a Zonai relic before. Allow me to explain. No, that's not what I meant. I was just trying to simmer it down because it doesn't tell me anything amazing. It just says I need to channel my side-on tag-along here in front of six dragons. The Zonai were an ancient civilization with their own system of writing. Almost no one today can read Zonai script, but you can read the inscription on that model, right? That's because it's written in Hyrulean. Though these ruins appear to be Zonai in origin, they feature text written in modern Hyrulean. How could that be? Who built these ruins and for what purpose? Oh. This is just a possibility, but the monoliths that were found might be pointing to a spot where some spot somewhere in the ruins. You and you and me, we're gonna go to the bottom, get to the bottom of this. I need you to find that spot. That is exactly. You see that? We're going to get to the bottom of this. I need you to find the spot. There we may find yet a lot another monolith that tells us what these ruins, why these ruins were built. It's just a hunch, but it's also your boss's hunch. So get it done, wage slave. Yeah. Yeah. Well. We are first going to go up into the tower, because that's what I want to do. That's what I came here for in the first place. Oh, for crying out loud! Jeez! This 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 tower must be called OBS, because it isn't working. Goodness gracious. Goodness gracious me. Hey, is that you? We're out and about. You're out about late tonight. Sorry, this Skyview Tower's out of order and maintenance is proving tricky. 
What's wrong? Are you relying on a video capture system that is finicky and sometimes just doesn't work at all? Oh. Well, the terminal that charged up the Skyview Tower isn't working. Yes, exactly, yes! I bet it's called OBS. I checked all the terminal's parts, but nothing looks broken. I know the feeling. That was me at 9 o'clock this morning. I wonder if something to do with the tower itself is broken. Nope. Your hardware is fine. It's the crappy software that doesn't know what the heck it's doing. And you know what? Being on a tirade like that, I actually missed whatever clues he might be pointing to as to why it's not working. Okay, so the tower itself. All right. So, in, in this case, yes, it may be the hardware. We're going to, we're going to climb. Because we can, clearly. Okay. Well, usually I would use a tower to go up and examine what is wrong with the tower, but... Now, I know that we can, um... From the past, if there's a way for us to get down there, we can actually come up through there. But it's not, it's not access to the room, it's the fact that apparently there's something wrong. Oh, you know what? We've got these big things we can climb on, it looks like. All right. I can't remember. Can we can we hand these? Does not look like it. Can we reverse time these? Negatory Megatron. Okay. What I can do, however, I see. I don't know. Well, let's see. We'll see what happens. Oh, I want this tower activated. This is this is priority one. Okay, cool. We've got we've got stuff on here. Excellent. Okay, I didn't have enough stamina. That was dumb. Ah, shaking the rust off. And these boots probably are not great for climbing. They're probably not great for much at all, other than giving me something to make fun of. Stamina. Wall rockets. All right, now I know I can attach that to a shield. That should get us up to the next one. Unfortunately, I don't think I can carry one while... Okay, no. Because if I pick one up... And, uh, yeah, I, th this, is, uh, this is a tip that I got from Llama, actually. Attached to that. And that's actually a pretty darn cool effect right there. Oh, no. Yeah, you go down. You die now. Sweet. More rockets. It's cool. Like, he holds it out, and then... Poof, up in the air he goes. Oh, yeah, there's a big block sitting on top of the tower. I see the problem now. I have a bad feeling that I... Uh, there's no really way I can... Well, wait a minute, wait a minute. Does this... I don't think this is something I can hit, is it? Oh, okay. I don't know if I was supposed to be able to activate this platform. I know they can be levitated, so I might... No, wait. They usually can be. I am Iron Man. Wait, what? What? Oh, because I have the weapon. I am Iron Man. Whee! Okay. Uh... Aw, oh, nuts. How? I could have sworn you could use the, the hand on these things. Oh, you can. Okay. <laughs> Not what I'm on it. All right. Um, I don't... Well, wait. If I can reach that one down there from here, but I cannot. All right. So, yeah, I screwed up, I think. I probably have to... I mean, it, this this is a relatively simple problem in essence. But oh, I probably just need to attach the rockets to the platform. But first, I need to kill this guy. Yes, I am that badass. Oh wait, oh, set it down. Set it down. Don't throw it. Set it down. Drop it. Drop it. I don't know if this will work. But I'm thinking it's worth a try. Uh, 
I don't know if I need both of them. Eh, in for a penny, in for a pound, as somebody says. Oops. I'm pretty sure it'll activate both. Gotta go, man. Streaming soon. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Uh, well, um... Uh, Llama, if you're still, I'll, I'll see if I can get, I don't know if, cause you, like last time you were, you went at eight o'clock. Um, thank you for the, thank you for the, the shout out there. Um, yeah, I'll say, are you, are you doing Diablo four now or what, it, what are you, what are you streaming? Um, I've got, I've got, I was out all last week, so I've got a crap load of stuff to do this weekend. Um, but, um, if you're streaming later today or maybe this evening, hopefully I'll be able to check you out. Die bear. Good morning. Good morning and hello. Or hello and good morning, I suppose. Ah, you were just in time to witness my brilliance! Actually, this is a bad thing. We are just continuing to go up. Okay, uh, Diver, pretend you didn't see what you saw. Oh, I screwed the pooch. I screwed the pooch. Ah, uh, this was, this was, this was a bad idea. Did, did not realize... Wasn't really thinking about what I was doing. Big brain is not online at the moment. Hopefully we'll we'll have it very soon. I think I could just do this. Yeah. Yeah. I mean it was fun and all. But I really overcomplicated things. Alright, fair enough. Fair enough. Oh! Llama, well, thank you very much for uh, for requesting uh, Die Bear. Or is it D Bear? I guess Die Bear. Die Bear to, to, to come out. I, I appreciate that. Uh, oh, thanks! Oh, thank you, Llama. I appreciate that. Very, very appreciative. Um,. I'm not great with promoting, so I, I probably should be a little more proactive in that. Uh, but thank you very much. Am I on the Discord? Um, I am in the... I, I Like, I'm a part of the Discord, but I haven't, like, done anything in it yet. Um, I haven't, like... Yeah, I, I, I've, I haven't been like, hey, check out my channel or anything. And part of it is because I've had these issues where, like, I, I, I wanted to be have everything down pat... Before I'm like, okay, and, and have it down to a science. But I've had three times now where the software is screwed up and I've started late. And I don't want to start late. I want to be punctual so that people know that they can count on me. If I say I'm going to be there, I'm going to be there. It's just a thing. So uh, I probably just need to, to get some more interaction. Um, yeah, but thank you, Llama. Okay. <laughs> Brad said so. Hey, that's fine. I, I am... I am not, uh, I, I'm not, uh, thin-skinned at all. Uh, oh, there was something blocking the top of the Skyview Tower. Hmm, the terminal and the lid on the top of the tower are connected. So if the lid wouldn't work because it was blocked, I guess the terminal wouldn't work either. Well, I'm in a hurry and everything seems to be working properly, so I don't know. In other words, you did my job, did all the work while I sat here like a moron, so I can go do nothing for the rest of the day. Uh. Bilson, you have jack for work ethic. You've got freaking wings. You could have flown up there. Now, granted, you don't have the hand of fate to work with you, but still. Thank you for fixing the Skyview Tower. I'm off. Rupees, maybe? Anything? No? Just the privilege of being able to use the tower that I actually made active again? Thanks. Lots of friendships have formed in that Discord. Uh, that stream so much first. Uh, Die Bear, I do... I'm part of a, um, a channel called uh, Roll to One, which was predominantly tabletop gaming, um, but they also did a little bit of like this kind of gaming, and I had a channel on YouTube. Um, I mean, I still do, but I was doing a lot of like uh, you know, retro gaming and things like that on there. And but I decided I wanted to start doing like some Rumble exclusive, particularly with streams. So I do Tears of the Kingdom is exclusively to Rumble because their channel is still predominantly YouTube at the moment. When I do other games, uh, some other games, they are on YouTube. Um, but I do post, they do have a Rumble channel as well, and I do post the videos from that on there. So I'm trying to r grow the Rumble side of things. Um, and so like after the Tears of the Kingdom, which at this rate could be a long time, um, I do want to start, like I, I want to stream another game exclusively on Rumble and try to get more, more going there. Because this is where I see the future going. I would, I, I, 
I was not big enough on YouTube to have any kind of monetary thing invested. So it, it's very easy for me to, to dual upload and to just switch over. Um, and actually, Rolt1 is smaller than I was. So it's not hard for them either. But I think they see it more viable on YouTube. Uh, but they do have a Rumble channel, and we are looking to do more on it as well. No, it, 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 you, yeah, it, it is not. Um, it is not, Die Bear. It's, um, but thank you very much for the welcome to Rumble. Um, yeah, it's it's been great being here. It, it, it's nice because it feels like, you know, a lot of times uh, we miss out on being on the ground floor or something great because, um, you know, just because we, we don't know or, you know, we're, we're busy. Like, there's a lot of people that haven't even heard of Rumble yet. And so the idea that we could be a part of essentially what YouTube is now uh, growing to that is very exciting. Um, obviously, it's not guaranteed. You know, not everybody on Rumble is going to be able to to blossom, but at least it's a shot. We are talking about you behind the scenes. All good things. All good things. <laughs> Wait, talking about me behind the scenes? Oh, well, that's fascinating. Um, well, I'm, 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 I'm happy to be in the conversation. I, I think. <laughs> um, we're going here because I want the cutscene, and I believe that is right where we need to be. Right there. We're gonna remove this rock, uncover. Oh, I kind of broke my ankles there. It's all good though. Out of the way, rock. And there it is. Oh, dang it! It's a coro coro seed, dude. Aha, you found me. But I, I do look forward to grow because I think there's just I know Rumble wants to doesn't want to be any have any political affiliation, but like uh, uh, llama, like I think on your stream it actually says. Oh no, I think it may be the other fellow. Um. The guy with the beard it says like anti woke, you know. It's like there there is a decided um, a, a level of like mindedness on Rumble that you may or may not find on YouTube. Um, obviously, it doesn't mean you agree. We agree on everything or what have you, but you know that there's uh, where things are at right now. Like, and I try to keep that more or less off the channel overtly, just because I just I want it to be game. Like, if people are coming here for gaming, it just I just want them to, to be able to game. I do have other venues where I'll talk about... Okay, this is just not going well. But, no, I'm, I'm happy to be involved. And, yeah, I, I do need... I actually have a Discord for uh, Elder Scrolls Legends, which is a game with... It's dead now, but it has a, a few... Uh, uh, what we call the Legendary Remnant. A few people still involved in it. Uh, comparatively few. We're talking probably... 7,000 total players still, but a very adamant uh, community, very active community, and uh, so I created a Discord for that so that we could do tournaments and everything, um, and even on there, I'm, I'm, I just, I just need to get used to more socializing. I'm beginning to think that there isn't a tier, or if there is, it's right up here, but I fear I may be steering in the wrong direction. A lot of us are veterans and anti commie but our perspective on life are quite different. Yeah, yeah, even even in um even in uh, Llama stream, uh what I watched it was Diablo 4. Um like like a common thread but the the folks streaming like I mean very very different just in just it seems in terms of approach. Um you know, it's it's not clones, you know, which you know which is ironic because there's a lot of folks that are like, "Oh, we need, we're you know, we're proud of being different, but they're all the same. They all have the same beliefs, they all have the same look." It's very uniform. They're uniform in their uniqueness. Um, oh, here we go. Cutscene. Hopefully we'll see more of the ancient Hyrulean Justice League. <laughs> we want to indoctrinate you. <laughs> uh, well, yes, sir. One of us. One of us. <laughs> no, it's, it's, it, I think it's important to find a group of belonging. Although I will say, you know, a lot of us have a perspective. And I say a lot of us just... You know, talk like the anti-commie thing. We're we're a majority. We are still a freaking majority. We're just not a vocal majority because we don't need. We never had the felt the need to be particularly. Um, but we're we're not a niche. A lot of folks are just going along to get along, which is a general a great rule and principle if everybody's reasonable. But that's just not the case. Rumble seems to have some more normal parts of society on it where people know how to get along for the most part. Yeah, exactly. Although it is strange. You'll be able to stop him. I'm talking over this cutscene. I shouldn't do that. 
Her, uh, her forbidden cashew, as Lama would say, is glowing. I'm still amazed by, like, just, like, the shoulder definition Zelda has. Like, she's she's got to work out. She's, like, a top-notch level athlete somehow. A cult. <laughs> Speak to me, Cashew. Tell me the things I need to know. Okay, this is starting to look like Age of Ultron type stuff here, which isn't necessarily a good thing. Yeah, the one you pilfered from me at the beginning of the game, you... Oh, oh, it makes it look like we gave it to her. I don't remember giving it to her. I'm pretty sure I had it. And then I lost it. True story. The master sword. Okay, so... Lama, I know Sheik from... I've heard of Sheik. I didn't play the game where... Is, is it... What was the... Was it uh, Ocarina of Time that she's... Sheik? And Sheik who's a... Dude, I I didn't know that it was like it was like she, it was her consciousness, but in a different body that she created, or it was there is her as a dude, or us. her pretending to be it a dude. But yeah, I know Sheik is like the the masked vigilante that you're not supposed to know it's her because it doesn't really look like her. It looks like a guy, I think. I, I don't know. But still, it's just it's just an impressive build. She's so got, and she, I mean, she's not bulky or anything. Do. It's not ridiculous. She's just. You just notice she's got she's got shoulders on her. We will finally stop him. <laughs> to become an immortal dragon is to lose oneself. I'll be forever changed. Oh, don't go dragon. Don't go dragon. Link. I'm right here, Zelda. I'm right you here. Must find me. With my white ostrich boots. Okay, she disguised herself. Okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. That's what I thought. That's what, what the first impression I got. But then, I mean, goodness knows, if, if you're not reading the right source, it's going to twist it and pervert it or whatever. I don't know. But, um,. Yeah, it was like her alter ego, I think. Which is cool. Memories have been added to the memories log. She does get around, though. It's like she was watching out over a school and helping to build a school for all the kids, meaning like four of them. Uh, she's she's a vigilante. She's she's she, she's very busy. She keeps herself very busy. As Zelda worries about the Demon King breaking free in the future, a decayed Master Sword appears before her, delivering the news to Zelda that Link is safe in her time. This helps Zelda realize that the reason behind her traveling to the ancient days of Hyrule, she finally knows what she must do. Become a dragon. No, Zelda. No, 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 no. Did I miss? Oh, because uh, I'm not necessarily doing these in order. I'm doing them in uh, the order in which I find them, which is not necessarily the official order. All righty, Bear. Go get that coffee. Well, I'm not telling you what to do. I'm just guessing it at perhaps what your quest may entail. Um. Ah, uh, yes. We are talking about indoctrination and I got all... Oh, I, I gotta go to the shrine, don't I? I mean, because I can jump back to the tower any time now. Let's go to the shrine, buddy! Well, this looks like a crummy place. Oh, and I just it just registered. Uh, a lot of us are veterans, so military, and, and that's why I remember uh, Llama on your stream. I saw that was when I first noticed that you were a former military as well. Um, and yeah, it's. Um, so it's, it, but it's, it's nice. I actually have several friends who, um, well, I don't know. I think some of, most of them are still active. 
Um, cause I think they're like, they're lifers, you know, they're, they're in it for a career type thing. And then I've got some fr fr friends, actually four of my college friends are all, uh, in some form of law enforcement, which made the past five years pretty interesting. Um, and they're, they're still good people. Like, you know, I talk to them and it's not, they're not talking crazy, but. Okay. I'm pretty sure we already know what to do with this, right? Is it that easy? No. Yes, it is. All drops down goes in the hole. Circling around a big old bowl. I'm not going to wait for you to do that ball. We are going to manually put you in there. Boink. All right, Llama. Thanks again. Congratulations again on the incoming second child. Um, that is fantastic. And uh, yeah, like I will, uh, I'll see if I can, uh, I'll see if you're, you're still going when I am. Like I said, it's, it's probably, I'll probably be back home at about five or so. And I've, I've got a few more things I got to do. Um, but it, like I said, if you're, if you're still on, um, I will uh, happily find you. And I will promise I will, uh, I'll hop into the discord a bit more, try to mix things up. Uh, it's just sometimes it's hard to, you know, insert yourself into a conversation. Well, not, I mean, I don't want to insert myself into a conversation, but you know what I'm saying. Anyway, take care, sir. Thanks for stopping in. And, uh, thanks for, uh, thanks for pointing folks over this way. I appreciate it. Big brain, big brain. Oh, well, never mind. I know what I'm doing. And I go up here. Nope, nope, get out, get out of there. Oh, please, Link, get out of there. You're gonna get crushed to death. Oh, gosh darn it, Link. I'm totally gonna die. Well, actually, I can't die because I can't activate the... There you go, buddy, that's the way. Okay, so I gotta wait here. If I could turn back time... Well, if I could sing about turning back time. Oh, dear. Okay, good. I thought for some reason I had it in the wrong direction. Wait, can you jump, please? There we go. Okay, th th that's the crazy thing about the, the only downside to having a game that is as open world as this one is is there because it's not linear you never know what level of difficulty you're going to be walking into like this obviously had to be one of the earlier temples you're supposed to go into because it was so stinking easy a lot of these things take some big brain machinations and whatever to, to make them happen this must have been one of the earlier ones either that or they're just giving you a break nice i've got enough to get a heart or more stamina i'm not sure which one i mean i am becoming a little more resilient so maybe Ah, uh, I mean, I have I have fallen short with the stamina a few times. It's not sexy, but I feel like I need to do it. Sometimes we all need a little more stamina. That's not a metaphor. But it's also not literal. Anywho, anywho, I need to. Okay, well, I can't, the, my whole mission here was to go go get to the tower, which I successfully did. Have activated it found another geoglyph so i mean it's been a very productive day i thought it was going to be harder to get all this done to be honest so i'm not entirely sure what to do though i do know from talking with llama uh he reminded me that we are supposed to be finding temples we are supposed to be fighting things so i need to check out our quest and do something that is part of the mainstream deal to advance the story i did try to go to get my pura pad upgraded last time but Robbie is not there. I need to do something to get him off out of that area. All right, so regional phenomenon, I can, I mean, I'm right near one right now, so I guess I'll do that. I mean, he's right at my back, so we'll see what this one does for us. Wait, is that the one at my back or is that the one? This map is wonky. I'm facing the wrong direction. How about now? Okay. That is where I must go. Here you must go. Hit. 
Not a big fan of traveling through barren wastelands. It's very... Although, I, I do like the Borderlands. Borderlands is a fun game, and it's, it's all of that kind of... Oh, that's further than I thought. That's going to be a bit of a hike. I wish it was easier to select, like, to tell your steeds to come. Like, right now, I would not mind having DeLorean or Kit with me. I haven't talked to them in, well, pretty much since I sent them to the stable. They would be useful here, but they're not very useful in so many other places. So, it's a little, it's a little irksome. I guess I could just send them home. Oh, well, I'm sure we'll come across uh, somebody to fight, somebody to kill. Quickly. Oh my goodness gracious. There we go. That looks like a ripe target. Hello. Shoot you in the face. Charge. Oh, I do like ragdolling this guy. So satisfying. <laughs> I'm gonna kick your- oh my goodness gracious! I do need to buy some more arrows. Oh, Sidon, you- He's probably one of the most effective sidekicks I've had in a game. Usually the- usually, like, you can tell that they're- like, they're fighting, but they're not actually doing anything. Or they're- it's minimal. He actually will take care of- Bad guys, and he does draw fire as well. Uh, do I? Oh, crap! You see that thing? There's. Oh, okay. I thought I thought that was like the end of a giant club, making me think that there was a very big bad in there, and there truly is not. So they haven't seen me yet. We're gonna circle around the outside here, see if we can uh, get a little sneak attack on those uh, archers. You know, work smarter, not harder. Killer! There he is. Good to see you! Stay a while and listen. Um... Yeah, good, good to, good to see you. It's been... All week. <laughs> just about the way it always is, just because of my schedule, but... Good, good to see you back. Did work ramp up this past weekend? Oh, oh he hears me. He hears me. Doggone it. I mean, it's alright, we have the high ground, and I'm assured that you cannot be defeated when you have the high ground. <laughs> you have quite a gem there in that Herodric cube. I like saying cube. Cube is fun to say. But Diablo, which is also fun to say, is always after me. Always lurking. Gotta kill you before you can blow the horn. Surely they didn't hear that. No! I feel like Luke and Return of the Jedi. Oh dear. You know what I need? I need my. Th I need that uh, ruby rod. These guys do not like fire. Um. I might. Oh crapola. Yeah, that thing has a slow wind-up, my friend. I found that out the hard way. You ain't gonna get on hit, hit on me with that. Yeah, look at I me. Mean, look at Slide on, man. He's doing stuff. That is so refreshing. Wait, is, did Deckard Kane die at some point? I think I missed that. I, I really, I haven't, I haven't played since Diablo two. We rescued him from Tristram. He was good for identifying things. Good to see you. A uh, spiked iron ball hammer? Oh, that must be a... Uh, it's already been combined. Oh, I think I can get rid of my wooden stick. Although, as we know, spiked balls do take a while. Oh, seriously, you forgot I was here? Well, now you know. And knowing is half the battle. Crap. Soldier blade broke. Oh, there is a big dude down there. Crikey. Alright, well. Ever plan on playing Diablo 3? Uh, no. No. Uh, not, 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 
like I'm not committed to not playing Diablo 3. I just don't think it's gonna it's gonna be a thing that I do. Uh Eat fire! That's right, side on. You get that final head in. All right. So I'm guessing that means he does die in Diablo 3. I'm going to go ahead and save here just because usually I get a little overconfident. I think that nothing could beat me in my nice shiny white boots, and I find out otherwise very quickly. Probably could have done a sneak attack there, but... Why well, play smart when I could just assault this guy from behind? Oh dear. What am I doing? Oh, I beat him. Okay. Meant to do it. Knew I could do it. That sucks though. I mean Well, I guess I guess Deckard's been in as many games as he hasn't been. He was in 1 and 2, but apparently Oh no, I guess he's in 3, but he dies in 3. A lot of changes in Diablo 3. Oh man. Spiky Claymore. Is that worth it? I, I hate the wind-up on that thing. I really do. I like weapons that hit hit fast. Um, so let me... Well, I can't get rid of my stick. I don't really need the stick, especially if I've got this rock hammer. All right, well, we found a group of bad... Oh, oh look at all this stuff. Oh, corpses. Corpses and guts. Sweet. Uh, back on track to our... Destination? Wow, did we backtrack? Yes, we did. Dag nabbit. Hello, deer. Or elk, or antelope, or whatever you, the Hyrulean equivalent of that is. All right, now I put two markers by that are right by the the beacon that we're heading to. So apparently I saw something of interest there at one point or another. So hopefully this will prove to be a a wild, crazy and very useful venture. Um See, I got more weapon slots, which is great, but they're all filled with cool stuff. I guess I'll use the pokey poke on wolf. Wolf boy here to... Oh, he's laying down to sleep. And if he didn't have the crazy eyes and was intent on attacking me, I would have left him alone. And which is weird. You can't target the wolves. All right, wait and see. A lot changes in Diablo 3. Links like Rocky in Rocky 4. Which, which aspect of Rocky in Rocky 4? The... You've... Is Rocky Four when he tells him you've got pretty severe brain damage? Oh, no, that's five. Five is when they really start talking about that, and it gets really depressing. Uh, Rocky Four, just the running, the steadfastness. Rocky never wore. Well, actually, running up the mountain. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. The training in the Russian, uh, Russian wilderness. There, yeah, yeah, for sure. Oh, yeah, and then he gets. Didn't he, there's a scene where he gets to the top and he's like, Drago. Drago! He just yells it from the mountaintops? I believe, yes. And then, the Lord of the Rings uh, party passed him by. I believe it was the same mountain. Okay, there's definitely something off here. What is this? Uh, looks like a camp. Well, no, there's a big tower. Probably bad guy stuff. Uh, it's not exactly where we want to be. But I am curious. <laughs> Rocky never did this. Hey, yo, Adrian. I'm hang gliding. That was the worst Rocky ever. What did I sound like? I didn't sound like Rocky. I sounded like... Some kind of cartoon character. Oh. Not something I can actually... Pick up and equip. ba dum ba ba dum ba Oh, wow. Rocky had more stamina than this, though. I mean, that, that dude ran through all of Philadelphia and up the stairs. It's probably like seven miles or something like that. Didn't run out of steam. Link can run 
almost nowhere. Oh, you, you're bad guys. I don't think my pokey thing can hurt you, but I know... Oh, I wonder if my... Oh, yeah, it can. Oh, that's gorgeous. I got this side on. Don't worry, your little pokey stick isn't going to be effective against these guys. Oh, it's on fire. Okay. I like how Link just casually puts out the fire. Oh, here we go. What is this? Reminders for our Hylian workers. The red substance that spouts from the cracks in the ground is called gloom. Avoid it at all costs. Coming into contact with gloom drains your vitality. If you touch it, get away from it immediately and rest. Resting in the fresh air of the surface is recommended. Good to know. Ooh, but I think... Is this, is this the... Sundalions! Yes! This is the good stuff right here. This allows you to heal from... Come here, little... Oh, nut bunnies. It allows you to heal from... Gloom. We want to get as much of that as possible. And clearly... We don't care about you, Blue Flowers. You don't even have a name. This is not Skyrim. We don't pick every single thing, unfortunately. What is that? Oh, it's a fire bat. Strike that. It's a dead fire... Oh, man. That would have been so cool if I could hit that. Dead fire bat. Yeah. Wow, he was a lot further away than I thought. I got you. Ooh, Fire Keys Eyeball. Fire Keys Eyeballs are imbued with heat and are useful in making elixirs. Attach one to an arrow to grant a homing quality to the arrow. Yeah, I haven't used that yet, but... I think that'll come in handy at some point. Who, who doesn't like homing arrows? ba dum ba ba dum ba I don't know what's up here. I'm hoping it's something worth the trek. Am I hearing? I thought I was hearing bad guy music, but I'm hearing like, I don't know what. This looks like one of the scaffolds I built, except for it has a lantern on it. What is that over there? It looks like a train track? Oh yeah, they have those. All right, right. No, I need, I need I need to stay true to my objective though. We're going this way. I mean, I don't mind getting distracted by shiny things, but they need to be shiny. Ooh, sweet, a shrine. All right, this music is making me sleepy. Reminds me of, uh, what was that place called? Not Boulder, Colorado. Um, there's a very desolate place of Colorado. It just has a bunch of, like, run-down, old minor towns. Okay, I guess we're going down here. Oh, we're not on target anymore. I, I keep losing the plot. Hang on. What are we doing? What are we doing? What's going on? What? I don't think there is a, a populace in any video game or even in the world that has this density of diaries to people. Everybody and their mother writes in a freaking diary, although this is a particularly big one. Everybody has a freaking diary, except for us. We don't write in a diary because we're too busy doing things. Dear diary today. Well, let's, let's see what you knew, boo. You know, boo. After the eruption of Death Mountain stopped, the lava stopped flowing all over flowing all over Elden. Then it got colder. The sudden shift in climate has made folks feel sick, and whoever isn't sick is upset by how different everything is around here. There should be a apostrophe by round, but whatever. At this rate, Goron City. Ah, Goron City. Gorons live in Goron City, if I'm not mistaken. Says the guy who <laughs> really hasn't played any Zelda games in a long time. At this rate, Goron City will fall apart. I keep wondering if there's anything I can do. Maybe I'll just write in my diary some more. That seems like it's going to be very productive. The lava has cooled and hardened, which means we can reach areas we weren't able to before. And you can too, fair reader. Elden is covered in rock now, and there's ore galore. There's only one thing to do now. Get filthy rich. Dig, dig, dig until there's no more digging to be done. We'll dig up every bit of ore and get the city back to booming. <laughs> Dear diary, I... We dig... Dug too greedily and too deep. We awakened a Balrog. It consumed us all. He's coming. Drums. Drums in the deep. I was busy digging the caves and mining ore, and before I knew it, everyone was helping out. Slurgo and Orfrak were the most ambitious of the group, despite their names making them sound like sloths. I thought I was the only one who cared enough to get the city back to booming, but I was wrong. I figured it's a good time to offer job security to everyone by starting up a company. We're calling it 
Unibuco. Slayer going off rack came up with the name. I bet they did. They, that sounds like something they would say. It's still pretty chilly around here these days, but most of us have gotten used to it. With the temperature cooler, now anyone can visit Goron City without using fireproof gear. Oh, well, that's nice. We're going to build a new road. So to make it more well mixed. Well, what? We're going to build a road. We're going to build a new road so to make it. How about we're going to build a new road to make it more welcoming to travelers? Your diarying sucks. With more travelers passing through, we can offer the ore mined up by Unobuko for a special price. Something called the upheaval happened, and Hyrule Castle is floating in air. Princess Zelda and Link. Hey, we're mentioned in here. Great. Princess Zelda and Link, that dashing hero with those amazing white boots, have gone missing, and Pura has sent out her search parties. I'd like to go lend a hand, but lately there's been strange red haze coming from Death Mountain. Before I leave, I'll go see what's going on to make sure everyone in the city and my workers at Unobo Co. are safe. In the first Zelda, there were enemies with big ears. If you read about them, it would say they hated loud noises. That's because the Japanese Famicom NES had a microphone in the controller. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I remember that, uh, Killer. Um, and in fact, didn't they have it in, like, there was another game system that had that too. I think even, it was like the, the Nintendo DS, there was some actually American system that had a microphone in there. And apparently one of the games now, there's a slight compatibility issue because you don't have a microphone. I think there was another one, but yeah, I do remember that. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. And so it's, it's still in the first Zelda game, but it doesn't have any bearing because you can't do anything to, to trigger it or what have you. Are, are those the Gorons? The enemies with the big ears? Oh, no, they wouldn't be enemies. They'd be our friends. Um, but yeah, that, that's interesting. That seems to be like an overlook in the in the translation. Or in the... the ad, what, what do you call that? Um, adaptation. What, what have you. The... the Big brain! Before I leave, I'll go see what's going on to make sure everyone in the city... Oh, okay, I said that already. Oh, wait. Previous page. Okay, we're done. Stop reading. Stop reading. It's not good for you, Link. I mean, we could go down again. I mean, I, in theory, I should just be able to ascend out of here, right? Or it might might, may, it might make me go the long way around. Ooh, this looks like a, a recipe, but I can't see it. Okay, well, I know grain, carrot, and elixir gives you... That looks like cantaloupe. I don't think I want to eat anything with cantaloupe, rice, and... Tofu? I don't know. I don't think I, I don't think I want that. Even if those are even if those are uh cucumbers, I, I think I'm good. Alright, well, I gotta go down the hole. Never know what's down the hole. What's what's all this? What are we doing? Ooh, can we yoink this? Flamebreaker armor. Seven hundred rupees. I mean that's not bad. why is he so fat though? Like, it's got this huge Pudge in the middle. Like, I don't look, look at me. I'm svelte. Look at that waistline. There's no way in heck I'm gonna wear that thing. I like how, though, that you see it's missing a hand on the left side. It's almost like it was made for me. Oh, you know what? It's got, I guess it's supposed to be bulky. I don't know. DS, DSi, and I believe the 3DS. Okay. And Killer, do you have those systems? I know, I know, uh, I know you said you loved Nintendo more than anything. Uh, even more than PS1. I remember distinctly you saying that. You love Super Nintendo more than PS1. Um, do you, you have all the systems? I actually never got... I, I had a Nintendo... I had the uh, Game Boy Advance special. Oh, was it? Game Boy Advance... I can't remember the name of it. Uh, but it, yeah, Game Boy Advance where it, with the flip screen. It was really cool. And it, was, it had the backlight, like the LED blacklight. Uh, really nice. Um, but I did eventually end up selling it because I needed the money at the time... Oh, it's a dude. It's a construction. This is like... Oh, <laughs> look at those booty shorts. Oh, dear. I don't think this exchange is going to go well, but let's just see what happens. Oh, I don't believe we've met before. Are you a new worker here? Please tell me you are. Oh, good. You have no idea how badly you were needed. We have a dire staffing shortage at the moment. I bet you do. Ah, oh, gosh. Eh, OSHA does not approve. Nobody approves of what you're wearing right now, sir. All the young Gorons are so obsessed with marbled rock roast that they can't be bothered to swing a pickaxe. I hope President Yunobo will address the issue somehow, but in the meantime, we need all the workers we can get. I think President Yunobo is in the city inspecting the marbled rock roast. Oh. 
Oh, whoa, whoa. No, 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 no. I wasn't. Ah. Ah, not for nothing. Don't be fooled by the color t cooler temperature above ground. That's not what worries me right now, my short shorted friend. There's still lava inside the caves. You'll get burnt to a crisp if you go there dressed like that. Unless you're dying to know how a baked apple feels, I'd recommend investing in some fire-resistant gear. A flame breaker armor, I thought, would mean more than do the trick. Yeah, and it's built for your girth, not for mine, but whatever. I'm rich. I'm fabulously wealthy with tons of rubies, rupees, so I will go ahead and buy this. Do you want some fire-resistant gear? Smart. Temperatures have cooled above ground, but it's still hot in the caves. That's the most for cave work. It'll run you 700 rupees. So what do you say? So you're telling me all the workers can afford a $700 suit of armor like this? I don't think so. But, like I said, oh, I didn't have as much as I thought. I thought I had double that. Ooh. All right, well. That was a that was an impulse buy. Sure. I would keep the DSi because it had better hinge than the DS. Also the GBA SP. I think that's what, Game Boy Advanced SP, that's what it was. That's the one that, that flipped, and it was it was, a, it was essentially a square, and you just you just flipped up the screen, and it had the the D-pad. It, it, it was the one right before the DS came out, I think. Uh, but yeah, the Game Boy Advance SP was the one that I had, um, and I liked it a lot. I mean, it had the original Super Mario Brothers. Like, it was so crazy being able to play like the like original Nintendo games, and even because like, you had Donkey Kong Country and uh, Donkey Kong Country Two. Like all those, all the classic Nintendo and Super Nintendo games on a handheld. It was just so crazy for somebody who grew up where the first Game Boy was a green screen with uh what? I just got a random pop up saying that a device that I have plugged in isn't compatible with something. But luckily, it has nothing to do with what we're doing here. So on we go, company store. Sold my soul to the cup. Wait, is it telling me I can buy it again? Ah. Oh. As long as you're wearing that armor, you can go into the caves without worrying about the heat. You'll still die if you fall in lava, though, so don't do that. Well, that's that's good. I, I, I would... But now you just have this rocky, lumpy torso here. <sighs> Why don't you put some of your shorts on it? Ooh, burn. Of course, it doesn't look like it gave me any cool boots, so I still have to wear <laughs> my ridiculous royal guard. I, you know what? I'm going to change these over. I, I just feel like a putz. Uh, let's go ahead and equip that. And, yeah, it makes me look like a tub. Whatever. Fun fact. When collecting, I would buy the pink portable systems for the simple fact that they were cheap and girls take better care of their things. Not a bad, not a bad observation. That's actually... Uh, well, I'm not going in the cave just yet. This thing probably reduces my movement speed. I wonder if he sells... Yes, loyal worker, I think President Yonobo is in the city inspecting marbled rock roast. Oh, I can't... I can't... He doesn't sell arrows. Okay. Uh. We wouldn't be so short-staffed if Ulfric and Slergo were here. Where have they gone off to? I wonder to myself out loud. I mean, I guess we're here now. But this isn't where I wanted to go. Screw this. No, I'm, I'm going back out to... We're so close. We are so close to the regional phenomena. I'm going to put my cooler armor on. And we'll explore the depths in a little bit. Doggone it. Pushing the wrong buttons. Uh-huh. Go. What's this? Somebody's diary? No doubt. A note to our Hylian workers. When entering a sizzling hot cave... Yeah, because that's exactly what a note would say. Remember to prepare your soft, flammable skin against the heat. If you run out of your company-provided supply of fireproof elixir, make sure make your own from fireproof lizards and monster parts. For maximum bath time relaxation, be sure to soak at least up to your shoulders. Should you find yourself injured while on the job, please report to Unobo HQ immediately for termination. Yup. That's still company. Oh, wow. So I haven't seen a single, single Goron. I've seen one human-esque Hyrulean, I guess, in booty shorts. And now we've got a bad guy just standing on... Okay, he looks like he's defying me. This is this is David and Goliath right here, folks. And uh, I, I will not let this stand. I really should try to sneak up on this behemoth. Oh, wait. Are those explosive barrels? Or... Well, it's explosive something. So why don't we just introduce him to a little something called uh, Poor Aim. 
Oh, piss. Oh, what an arm. Oh, wait, they don't blow up? Oh, it's it looks like it wants to blow up. Oh, gosh, now we've got... I missed it. I was too busy looking at Octoboy. Um, who was not targeting me because of Sorloin, or whatever the heck his name is. Yeah, come on, Octo. Yeah, you did. You're very dead. And I will join you here if I don't figure out... Oh, now he's just throwing rocks. <laughs> what a jump. Hey, come on, big boy. Oh, did you want out of explosive things to throw, and now you're pulling up rocks from nowhere? Okay, you weren't as bad as I thought. Oh, piss. Um, okay. Well, looks like I will have to make... Have a little fire, Scarecrow! Oh, I'm out of juice. Oh, gosh. Oh, my gosh. Did I, did I save first? I think I, I, I... This is not going well. Um... I'm gonna go with the Pokey Poke. Sweet. Totally didn't see that happening. But yeah, um, Killer, I, th I think you've got a good point there. Also, I mean, to be fair, I think pink, like uh, the pink version of a lot of different things are, are actually uh, worth more now because fewer of them were bought. That's kind of the, the risky thing you do. If, if you are collecting it all for, which it doesn't sound like you are, but if you are collecting it all for value, uh, you know, you, you don't necessarily want to buy something you don't want, but at the same time, if you don't want it, a lot of other people didn't, and it means it's going to be more scarce. Uh, but yeah, I, I can imagine a lot of... Although I will say, I knew some gals who did not necessarily treat their things properly, but I think on the whole you are correct that... Um, they either got less use out of it, or they were just more careful with their stuff. And so it's in better condition. So that's actually a good call. Alright, let's, uh... I need to get a different weapon. Stop! No, oh, no, 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 no. I want... Yeah, the, I think the pokey poke should work. If I'm facing the right direction, that is. Oh, come on, Link. Oh, Sidon is such a great. Uh, he does such a great job of being an aggro, uh, aggro focus. Dang, this mace is fast for the size of it. Oh, nice. Metallic rose. Yeah, I gotta say though, man, they are, to, to my eyes, uh, the, the the rose, metallic rose, or, or rose gold, or whatever they're called, they are, they are some of the uglier systems. Um, but, like, I mean, you know, there's some colors I may not like, but I don't necessarily think they're ugly. The, the rose is just, ugh. Not a big fan. But, like you said, you're probably more likely to find a good one. Shiny bone spear! Though now decayed, this lightweight me metal spear was made for royal soldiers because it's light and easy to handle. It enables quick charge attacks. I like that. And I need to get rid of something. Uh, well, let's get rid of this piece of garbage. Wait. Wait. Yeah, I need to go to a shop and get more arrows. I think I'm gonna need those before too long. There's really no way to climb up there, is there? Well, of course there is. Not old Spider Link can climb anything except for when I need him to. So wait, I missed it. Do these blow up when you throw them? When you drop them, they obviously don't blow up when you throw arrows at them. All right, so it it's blinking. Is that like a fuse? Okay, yeah, so it's a time release. You throw it, 
the little fuse pops out like a belly button. And, uh, yeah, then it, then it blows itself up. So I could have, if I was smart enough about it, I could have taken out this guy with arrows, climbed up here, grabbed one of these. Okay, dropping it doesn't actually kill you. There we go. It has to start glowing. Okay, good to know. That's a, that's a fresh new... Oh, what's this over here? Shiny thing. Shiny thing. Armor, shard, shield. Do I have... Oh, we'll get rid of that. Huh. Okay. Whatever. Oh! Are they- there, there's- oh, see. You could always toss the systems in case- in a case- oh, or put a skin on it. Yeah, no, exactly. Yeah, there, there are- there are definitely ways- uh, ways around it. Oh, something's happening down here. Oh, get him! Get him, dude! Get him, old timer! I think we're supposed to kill help, but... Because I don't think the NPC can die. And I don't think he can kill the Gobbo. So I think we're supposed to jump in the fight, and he's going to be like, Oh, thank you so much for your help. Here's a... quest. Or here's something that I need to do, but I'm going to ask you to do it instead of me. This spiked club is freaking awesome. I think the soldier's shield is probably better than what I have. Uh, it's got to be better than the rusty thing. Okay. Yeah. Oh, Kaffee. There you go. There's some Kaffee for you. <laughs> you have your coffee in the morning? I have not had my coffee in the morning yet today, but there's coffee. I'm talking to her now. She seems to have a bright, sunny disposition. A bit of a broad jawline, but that's all right, though. I don't judge anybody according to that. Let's see what Kaffee has to say. Hmm? Are you traveling too? Ah. Oh, me? My name is Kaffee. I'm just a rootless wanderer going any way the wind blows. And right now, it's blowing me onto the trail of the great bandit Misko's legendary treasure. <laughs> Have you seen me, Lucky Charms? <laughs> Sorry. I have been following a rumor that One Piece is in a cave near here. Trouble is, the rumor wasn't totally clear on where the cave was. I traveled a long way only to come up empty. Maybe I should try searching somewhere else. And now I'm just going to walk away from you like a wee strange person. No thanks for no thanks for uh, for taking care of the goblin that was surely going to end my life. That's fine. That's fine. Away goes a fine Irish lass. Named Kaffee. Dang, this place is infested with baddies. Oh, oh, rupee rabbit. Rupee rabbit. Yes, yes. Yes. More rupees for me. I should have kept shooting, but... Oh, no, they vent. No. Oh, my greed got the... Oh, no, okay, good. I th oh. I was like, I want that red rupee. Red rupee, red rupee. Uh, but yeah, so yeah, I, I actually I crashed Bandicoot's another game I have not played. So, um, but I'm I'm guessing it's a callback or illusion. Doesn't Nintendo did come out with Crash Bandicoot on Switch, didn't it? At some point, I, I feel like every every game that you know used to be an exclusive somewhere else, especially if it was Sega. I think it's come out on on Nintendo at this point. One Piece, was it produced, or was it protected by pirates? I'm familiar with the anime and the manga. I haven't read too much of it. Was it protected by pirates? Uh, was it, it was created by pirates, right? Isn't it supposed to be like the, the, the combined treasure of like a whole bunch of pirates, like a big, like the, 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 the grandfather of all, of all, um, uh, of all treasures? Whoa! Oh! Oh no! No! So many, so many eyes getting away from me. Oh, that sucks. Oh, I could have bombed the crap out of it and gotten so many eyeballs. Ah, oh, man, that's a bummer. Well, we'll know for next time, I suppose. Yonobo QHQ South Cave. <laughs> Oh, oh crap, 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 uh, uh, change the armor! <laughs> Does it work? What do we need? 
That's all we needed. Sweet. I think. Am I still taking damage? No, I'm just bleeding out because I'm a goober. And I'm almost out of arrows. Oh, jeez. What'll happen if I don't have my ranged attack? Hmm. I should probably eat something. Yeah, I try, I try to get into One Piece at one point. I, th I think it's a, it's a fine show. I just... It, it, when it's, it's that big, there's like so many... I think, what, a thousand anime episodes and the manga has like twice as many or something? You just kind of go, okay. This is going to be a long haul. And there's so much lore and stuff. For something like that, I'd want to wait till it was over. Like, that it, and know that it's come to a complete ending and that the ending is pretty good, in theory. Alright, so hang on. There's glowy things over there. And there's a that thing. But I don't see a safe way over. Because as he pointed out, just because we've got armor on does not mean we can wade through lava. Uh, piano music means bad guys. Hello? Any bad guys? Hello? Hello? I love you, won't you tell me your name? Yeah, I don't think we have a safe way to traverse this. Unless I can grab something somewhere. No, it doesn't look like it. Okay. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, hey, hey, ho, hey, 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 ho. Heal. <laughs> Somebody sure is afraid of dying, and it's not me. <laughs> okay, but I'm going to eat something really quick here. Let's have some meaty rice balls. Or... Because we need full recovery. Oh, I don't want to use that here, though. But if I don't use it here, where? You know what? What is this? Fairy tonic? Mmm. Doggone it. I really need to do some more cooking. In real life and in this game. I do not cook enough. Screw it. We'll just eat our meaty rice balls. Rice balls. There. Now we're not glowing anymore. I hope you're happy, killer. I was totally fine. I know I could crush this game with just that little bit. Hey, there we go. There is our vehicle across the lava. Magma. Liquid hot magma. Whoa. Hey there. I'm not supposed to just drop like that. Oh, something's here with us. We're not alone, my friend. We're not alone. Or maybe we are. Okay. I mean, I just... Goodness gracious. Th this is like me in real life. Like, I wanted to be svelte. But no, now I have Pudge, just like I do now. Alright. Uh, oh, Fire Hydrant. Okay. Don't think that's going to do much against lava. But, <laughs> but let us put it at the front of our magnificent vehicle. Fan on the back for some propulsion. I think that's how that'll work. Oh, but I probably want it. Yeah, I need I need it to be in the back where the fire hydrant is. That was dumb. Boom, 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 boom. This is going to be a risky venture. Oh, now we have hydro power. Oh, wait, is that a thing? Is that actually hooked up to that? What's going to happen? Here, hit it with something not so big. No, oh, don't hit it with that, though. Oh, that's on fire. Oh, man, all I've got are big stuff. All right, we'll just use this little guy. Well, it is... <laughs> What's going on here? Oh, I need to... I need probably need to steal it. Here, turn off. Okay. Oh, goodness gracious. Oh, what fresh hell is this? All right, all right. I, I think... I think... The problem is having the fire hydrant hooked up to the back. Turn it around. Turn this thing around. There. And we're going to airlift this out because clearly my driving skills are bogus. I haven't had to drive anything in, in this game. I'm actually much better in uh, Need for Speed Most Wanted. 
Although I think actually the wheel placement could also be responsible for the janky controlling. I don't, I don't know that that's a thing, but why not if not for the aesthetics? If for no other reason the aesthetics. There we go. Wheels on backwards. Oh, wait, so they're, they're going against each other? Yep, I've got two going. <laughs> ah. Big brain. Big brain. You know, Killer, I think it would have been much more entertaining to find that out as, <laughs> as we're spinning around in lava stranded. I don't think I could make these repairs once we're in it. Why is that thing smoking? Is it overheated? Well, anyway. Let's go ahead and save before we venture out into the liquid hot magma. Side on, you might want to do this. You are going to turn into steam. Crap, Ola. They're on backwards the, the wrong way. You know what? This is going to be easier. Stop it. Stop it. No! How does how does that translate to knock all the wheels off? I just wanted this stupid thing to get... Seriously. How hard was that? The, the game's mocking me right now. Oh, we're not going to let you take any shortcuts. You're going to have to reassemble the whole thing. Well, screw you, game. I am resilient. Oh, this is bogus. This is bogus. I deserve better. There we go. Okay, good. Yeah, I got you. I got you, killer. Yeah, it's... I, I, it, it did not see it earlier, but I do see it now. There. Now, fan goes on the back. Yay! And now it is facing the wrong direction, but that's an easy fix, as long as the wheel don't decide to pop off again. Alright. I know in theory we can steer this, but... I do want my fire hydrant. Like I said, I can't imagine what effect this will have, but... Always better to have a fire hydrant when going across. Seems Legos weren't made for all the kids. Hey, hey. I was playing with advanced sets when I was a kid. When I was like five, I was playing with ones that said from seven to ten only. And I was doing a mighty decent job at kind of sort of following the instructions. So I'll, I'll not have you besmirch my Lego crafting ability, sir. That's a bridge too far. No, no, I did it again. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, uh, the distraction is gone now. I can do what I meant to do. Oh, boy. Here we go. Well, at least that didn't take all the wheels off at the same time. Okay, and I've got to figure out how to get off of this without actually jumping off of it. Alright, so... Well, never mind. We're in it now. Am I actually control? Oh, there we go, there we go. Yeah! Bam! The big wheels! Okay, yeah, so we just hit X and it stops without us having to jump off. Oh, tell me about the red moon, Zelda. Goodness gracious. When the glow of the blood-stained moon shines... See, Killer, it's self-fulfilling prophecy. You know, when somebody shatters your confidence like that, you, you, you can't rebound. So I, you know, I was, I was, uh, I was emotionally crippled and distraught by your, your inference, completely distracted, and uh, uh, that resulted in my death. So I hope you're happy, sir. Hope you're happy. I've gotten over it now, but I don't think I could ever forgive you. Oh my gosh! Everything is flammable. 
Everything is flammable. Everything's not cool in this part of the game. Everything is flammable. We will, we will rock you. This better be worth it, doggone it. New boots. Give me a pair of boots that don't look ridiculous. Or a pair of those booty shorts that the other guy had. Ooh, okay. That's a step in the wrong direction for us. I did want a different helmet, but not that. Used in ancient rituals, this item is made of heat-absorbing cloth that produces flame in high-temperature environments. Okay, so I think visually it's going to look cool. So in theory, I'm going to put it on and my head is going to burst into flame. That is something I kind of want to see. What the crap? Can we... Do we have to make the Hero of Time look so silly? <laughs> the horns glow red when heat is about. Like I, I, he kind of, at a distance, he kind of looks like, like he's doing a kind of a Thor thing. Which isn't bad, but then when you get it close up on it, it's like this jewelry thing with... I don't know. Is it? Is it? I'm guessing it has some kind of cool powers, but... I don't know. I'm gonna call it good. The game seems to think it's a good thing. Maybe it'll sell for a lot. I mean... Like, seriously. Okay, so, I don't know. I th like, if it maybe absorbed the heat, like, like if I caught on fire that it all went into the horns and they just turned red or something, that would be cool, but I don't think it, I don't think it helps me. I'm, I'm, I need food again. <sighs> we'll have a steak. Steak sounds really good. And a couple apples. And a roasted acorn. Acorns are good too. There we go. Now, now we're in in good shape. Well, we're not we're not in worse. Well, we are in worse shape. We're not in the worst shape ever. All right, let's blow this popsicle stand. I do feel pretty cool driving my big old truck through the lava like this. <laughs> Oh, there is a bad guy. I was wondering why the music was playing. No, no, don't let him stab you, Link. Don't let him take it. And we dismount heroically. Oh, crap. Yeah. You poked. Oh, you missed me. No! Oh. Everything is trying to kill me. And for the record, Legos are never this confusing. They're much more straightforward. Alright. Technique techniques were where things got complicated. You had gears and all that kind of stuff. Though I would like to say wait, did I go down here? Yeah, I did. That's where we found that was okay, that was a rock cave. Nothing else in there, I don't think. While I was distracted with my assembly, I just want to make sure I did not uh, miss any secret entrances. I did not. Okay, so we got our horny hat. Link is now horny. And I don't know if that will come into play, if that is going to be a benefit, but... It was in a chest, so I'm going to say it was a good thing to get. Come here, lizard, lizard. We got the lizard. I'll have the lizard. Oh, now I can fight these goblins and they will fear me because... Well, we're not near fire, so my horns are not going to glow. Oh, this looks juicy. I mean, I could bomb them, but the problem with bombing them is they scatter, they don't die. They're on patrol. Can I... Uh, I mean, sneaking up... Uh, this is, this is going to be tricky. This is going to be awesome, though. Being up on them. Yeah, we carefully. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, piss. Oh... No, okay. Stealth fail. Come at me. I've got that oversized, a comically oversized mace that is meant for your face. Come 
Run, Link, run. Get out, get out, go, 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 go. Dang it. I knew it. I knew he was going to one-shot me. That's just the way it goes. I mean, I wasn't at full health either, so that's also not helpful. But All right, screw it. I'm going to bomb them once just to get them scattered, and I'll pick them off one by one. Oh, draw, draw, draw them in the shower, sh shallow lake. Oh, yeah. oh, goodness gracious. Even Quinn did not sound that disjointed. We're going to drown them. We're going to draw them into the shallow. Rather than drown them. Where'd they go? Oh, there they are. All right. Ha! What are you going to do now that I'm way up here and you're way down there? Oh, look at all this raw prime meat! Oh! Oh, happy to- oh, goodness gracious. Goodness gracious, man. Side on, I love you. You are the coolest. My last words. Okay. Wheel. I think we got it, I just gotta be- I just gotta be smarter about it, that's all. Like, smarter than how I build my my constructs. Smarter. I want to get these before I forget, because they are useful. And I want I need to get on that dragon. We, we got on the... Yesterday, we got on the, the frozen one. And I think if we can climb that mountain, we might be able to catch him before he gets away. I mean, the bad guys will still be here, right? Oh, there's got to be something we can do with that big glowing... Like, that is just... A plug for sure there, there's a lot for us to do here and I'm running I know I'm running away from my objective I, I get that but I am I am drawn to a bigger and grander vision at the moment we'll get back to that that can wait a fiery dragon of oh please make it oh come on really oh you're gonna do the thing aren't you Run away! Did he just get vaporized? Holy cow, he did! That's pretty powerful stuff. Second Amendment rights! Hello! Hey man, like your stream, just hit the follow and looks like I'm a follower number 30. Yes sir, you are! Thank you so much, Second Amendment. I really appreciate it. And thank you for uh, the, the good wishes on the channel. Um, I appreciate it very much. I, I'm hoping um, hoping to grow along with everybody else on Rumble and uh, so that when the rest of the world figures out YouTube is not where they want to be, they can come here. I mean, I, like I said, I do have uh, a channel. I, I post, I dual post my regular videos. I don't do very many of them right now. Most of them are gaming. Uh, I do dual post them on there um, only because there's still very little traffic comparatively on YouTube. My hope is grow the audience on YouTube, send them over to Rumble. But um, like I said, these this stream and there will be other streams are exclusive to Rumble and hoping to grow it. So thank you very much for um, the follow. Appreciate you. And yeah, we are on our way. Killer, yeah. No, I, fi I finally did something that had the appearance of... Uh, oh no, the dragon! No! No, 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 no! Dag nabbit. I won the battle but lost the war. The magnificent beast is getting away. Ah, <sighs> I mean, he's moving so slow, but there's no way I can cover that much ground. Crapola. But you know what we can do? I think. I'm pretty sure that big ol... Well, see, the problem is if we throw it, it's gonna blow up, but... Is right down, we, we saw that big red glowing thing, and I said, was it down there? Like, I think if we chuck this thing down there, it'll it'll blow up and, and blow that wide open, but I think if we, oh, we can jump with it. Nice! I thought I was going to have to throw it. All right, there we go. Yeah, this is, this is going to do some good stuff right here. Yay! Uh, why isn't it flashing? 
Why isn't the little thingy pop? Did it detonate, doggone you? Oh, piss. Run, 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 run! But I want to see its good work. Yes! Look at it, Daddy. It did exactly what I, I wanted it to. It, it cleared up a misconception I had that I had a good idea. That our kick takes over everything. You know what? If you hit 50 followers on Rumble, I'll become a channel subscriber. Really, killer? Holy cow. Uh Wow. That that would be huge. Uh well, thank you, sir. And yeah, uh, no, I appreciate I wow. Uh that's that's the first time uh something like that has uh, has been has been breached. Um So thank you. Thank you for the offer and uh yeah hopefully hopefully we'll we'll get up to get up to 50 then well thank you if nothing else i appreciate the the thought i don't i don't know if we'll get to 50 but if we do uh i i greatly appreciate the uh the offer regardless um and yeah i i, I guess i'll appreciate <laughs> appreciate it more if we do get to 50 but thank you very much i appreciate the the confidence and i, I gotta find a way i would like to find a way to make this, to do this more than just on the weekends. It's just, um, like this past week, I was in Alabama for four days. So if I had, if I had a stream schedule during the week, I would have just been like, sorry, I can't do it. Um, and which I guess is fine, but like, I do like being able to say like, hey, this is my schedule I post on these days. Are you gonna get tired of doing that? Good, just making sure. <laughs> Please, just die. Just die. Yeah, there you go. You just lay down and accept it. Lay down and accept it. But, yes, uh, thank you, Killer. Because I, I know, I know, because I know you said you, you're, I mean, you're, you, um, well, I don't want to harp on that, on that too much, but yeah, no, thank you uh, very much for the offer. And like I said, hopefully, hopefully we'll keep growing. And that's the thing, the roll to one fellas, um, because they don't they don't do any streaming on Rumble, they don't really have a, that kind of presence here. They primarily use Rumble as kind of a a backup, like they put videos on there, but it's not they're not really focused on it. Um, you know, that's why I still do the streaming on my channel. So it's gonna be it's it's gonna be a little interesting. Um, yeah, uh, trying to sort out. I wonder if I could attach. A, I don't know. I don't know. I, I mean, I believe there's got to be a way we can blow that up. What does this say? Nico Goran City. Hmm. I'm sure there's there's probably something we have not discovered yet that will allow us to blow those things apart. I mean, they are ugly looking. Clumps of bumps. Look, it looks like constipation. It looks, it looks like the mountains are constipated. It's not a, it's not a pleasant sight. It, it disturbs me to look at it. But let me see. Oh, good. I'm, I'm still close to. Nope, nope, nope. Take that away. Take it away. I just go to the left a little bit. I guess that is where we need to go. Nope, that's not the right direction, is it? That is where we need to go. That is the phenomenon. Oh, we didn't even fight those guys. Ouch. Oh, gosh. Yeah, and while I was in Alabama, I got eaten by fire ants. Good times. Good times. I honestly felt like I'd been on my own little adventure there. That We were in a, in, a, in, a, in a park that had a sign that said, Warning, alligators have been sighted near here. And there were fire ants, and it was humid, and there were tornado warnings, and it was really, 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 really freaking humid. Like, I will take molten lava over humidity any day. Oh, gosh darn it, I thought I was going to sneak up on They keep turning around. Yeah, you blow your horn, buddy. You blow it. Oh, run away! My, my big, my big 
My big ball is broken. Run away! Um, what am I going to use against these little critters? I want a flame emitting ruby sword. That should get it done. Great balls of fire. Hey, y'all don't like fire, do you? Okay, jump, run, jump. They're surrounding me again. Not today, Zerg. Oh, crap. I am totally going to do it. Hey, yo. I wish I had Rocky stamina. Okay, I think my... Yes, I lured them into a pinch point. Oh, he is he is after me. Ooh, he does not like me. And it's going to be another one-hit wonder. Uh, we're going to go ahead and save. I don't know what it's going to do. Where it's going to put us. We once had alligators in South Carolina, but they were hunted to extinction. Oh, no kidding. So, uh, South Carolina. I've actually got uh, a couple friends on there. Actually, uh, uh, Silver G-Suit, who is a uh, Rumble exclusive streamer. Um... He actually lives in uh, South Carolina, uh, so y'all are y'all are state-ish neighbors. Um, I didn't know they went that far north. I thought there was mostly I, I could see Georgia, and I know Florida has a ton of them, but I didn't know they've got as far north as South Carolina. Although South Carolina is, I guess, pretty southern. I remember we drive down to Florida like Disney World and stuff back in the day before Disney World was a crazy company, and uh, oh, 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 I got the high ground. Um, and, uh, North Carolina was easy getting through South Carolina, deceptively long. Cause you, I mean, you got to go down lengthwise. Okay. He's running away. Goodness gracious. I thought he was just gonna back off a little bit. I mean, the friend that I was with got all nervous because of the alligators, but I'm like, dude, they're, they're not like, like if you're going swimming and there's crocodiles around, yeah, you probably have something to worry about cause they're very hard to see, but alligators typically hang out on you know on the on the shore and they're pretty easy to spot and they're not as fast on land so you'd have to be very oh crap run 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 Ow. different type of alligator oh okay were they smaller then or just like a different breed but i mean either way they're not if you're paying attention i don't think they're that dangerous on land but Crocodiles are the water base. I'm pretty sure alligators mostly stay on land, but they're not, they're not, they can move, but they have to be very, very hungry, very, very motivated to chase after somebody on land at full tilt, I think. Like, and you usually, you can usually just see them chilling out. It's not. Yeah, I got something for you. Play them on. Run. There we go. That's what we needed. Okay, I keep... I keep dodging horizontally. No, I was dodging... I don't know. I don't know. Do I have the right armor equipped? Or am I still wearing the flame? I'm still wearing the flame nonsense. That's why... We've got, it's just like having no armor. It's only good for the heat. Oh, I need to be wearing my cool duds. All right, so those are the same, so that's fine. I need to wear this. And I need to wear this. Nope. It's this. Champion's leathers. Now let's see how this fight goes down. Okay. Ah. Oh, he's going to swing. There we go. Okay. Well, that was not a one-hit kill, so I'm feeling pretty good. Done. We sort of damaged, but oh crap, he's not dead. He's not even close to dead. Oh my gosh. My weapons must be garbage. Um 
Yeah, they are. Okay, that that one's that one's pretty good. He's gonna hit me anyway. No, 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 no! Still alive, still alive. Fight to the very end, Link. Yes. Oh, if the goblin fired it on me, I would have died. But he did not fart upon me, so I stay alive. I, 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 I'm staying alive. Staying alive. Yay. Okay, let's let's eat something. Um, sure. Eat all our food. Who cares? I have to, I, I have to cook. I've got to cook something. Okay. So, and now my swim speed in this desert is up to uh, is is increased. So, fantastic. Uh, let's see. The American alligator, Alligator Mississippianus, sounds dirty, is the only crocodilian native to South Carolina. Though once listed as a federally endangered species, populations have rebounded. I thought they had died. My mistake. <laughs> well, kill it better for you to find out that way <laughs> than, uh, than to be strolling along la 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 on the banks of a, of a river or something and get bitten by one and go, oh, I guess they're not extinct. Better for you to find out this way. Yeah, the Mandela effect. It is a thing. Oh, this little guy. Gee. We're not gonna be able to sneak up on him. He's gonna he's gonna turn around at the last minute. Oh, I need to switch to the... Oh, wait, he's got a rock suit on. Wow. Yeah, I can't think of the... the I, I know, I think I was one of the ones with the Bernstein Bears or Berenstein Bears or wh whatever they actually are. I think that was one... Oh no. Uh, okay, so it looks like the stream is trying to die again. If it does, I will try to start it up immediately, just so you know. Uh, but I'm seeing it dropping a ton of frames right now. Yeah. Okay, it seems to have recovered a little bit. We seem to be good. But just so you know, because this has happened, it, it, and there's, there's no... Yeah, yeah, buddy, I see it. Um... There's no way for... I, I don't know why it does it. Uh, I streamed for like four hours on Friday or three hours on Friday. It was fine. Yesterday, it dropped for a while, like twice, and then it was good for the next three hours. It seems to be okay now. I, I have I have no clue why the stream does what it does, but um, right now, it is it is back up to speed. It's, you know, fluctuating between high 5,000 and low 6,000. So, um, I think, I think we're all right. I think we've stabilized, but I do see it looks like it's frozen. Okay. There we go. It's back up. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so yeah, I, I will, I will restart immediately. I'll give it three tries. It, if the stream drops, three times I'll call it quits because clearly it's not going to recover, but it may drop once I'll hop back on within another minute. And I don't know. I know the internet connection is fine. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know what the source of my woes is. Oh, we need to fight that guy. Cause I'm not going to walk around knowing that there's a, a chunky Rocky dude that they kicked my butt, but I don't remember where he is and he's not in the direction of our goal. So right. We're supposed to be headed there. To the regional phenomena. Nope, not the right one. Map is kind of hard to read because it's showing all three regional phenomena at the same time, and I can't tell which one is the close one that we're supposed to be going towards. All right, so. What is this thing right here? It's a mine cart. Oh, we might be able to pick that up. We can.
Oh crap, he's running, he's running. Oh, he's on to me. Oh gosh, he knows exactly what's going on. That was a little too fast, buddy. Oh, he's still after me. Alright, I definitely need... the rock. Wow. Wow. Alright, apparently I need to wait for him to hit me. Or swing at me. That was a horizontal strike, so I need to jump back vertically. Okay, yeah, it looks like looks like the stream has stabilized. Unfortunately. I mean, if I was watching a stream and it and it crapped out, I'd probably be I wouldn't mess with it. Oh, it knocked his armor off. That was good. All right, he's he's back to being pathetic. Yeah, not so cool without all your little your your rock suit of armor. Yes, sir. Yeah, we did we didn't uh, didn't didn't lose everybody, which is which is nice. But like I said, I totally get it. Uh, like I said, you know, you see a and this it's so crazy because you see so many streams that go on without a single problem, and yet mine. Uh, just randomly have stuff. I don't know. I, I think it has to do with just maybe the amount of people using the internet at any given point, and that's not consistent for whatever reason. Well, not whatever reason. People are people. So there's not going to be a guaranteed, like, oh, right now there's X number of people. <sighs> I, I'll ask where his friend is. If he's close by, we'll do this. Otherwise, I'm just going to keep going. Oh, my friend and I got separated. Oh, screw that noise. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. Unless I can put a rocket on you and launch you up there. I'm I'm not about to go there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, lots of us are tired. Lots of us are having troubles. Lots of us have difficulty. The world is, is unkind to us all. You'll have to figure it out. Oh, wait. Is that actually the way I'm going? No. I mean, actually, it's not that high. Can I run up this? Oh, I could actually try the, the whole, like, um, shield sledding thing. Oh, jeez. Oh, my goodness gracious. Oh, sweet! Let's go, little guy. I have a way to get us up there. Where are you? Yeah, I'm here. And away! Oh, I lost... I lost him. He was attached to the darn thing. How did he... He was met. Alright. I'm, I'm gonna try this shield surfing. Um... Seriously, why didn't, why didn't he stick? That's messed up. Uh, let's see. I need to equip a shield. That's gonna be important. I'll use this one since it's not the best. Oh, I need to put that away. Yield. Jump. Nope. I think it's jumping A. Yeah! Legolas! I love how he laughed. <laughs> Look what I did. Alright. Korok, you little goober. Why did you fall off when you were glued here? I don't understand. Attach. Worked like a charm. All right, well, I think we can just go up. Since the Korok can't move, how did he get that far? Exactly, exactly. I, I think this is selective, like, oh, help me, help me, I can't. He's just, he's lazy is what he is. Okay, I didn't realize I could just run up this thing, so I guess we're all right. But yeah, I, I don't see, considering his pack and everything, I don't see how he actually managed to get as far as he did. 
I think it's really just, I don't feel like going any further, so I'm going to be like, oh, poor, help poor me. Can you help me, please? But it wasn't as far as I thought it was. I mean, they, they do, obviously. Uh, like, why would you stuff your pack that much? These freaking hoarders. I will take two Koroxies. Oh, and that's enough for us to get in one more weapon slot from the, the Moroccan using Korok guru. So we might we might go back, because I also want to buy some arrows there. We are running low on those, and they are very, very important to our survival. Oh, hey, it's our mushroom-headed friend, and we do have some building materials, although they are different. They look more metallic, but that should be an easy... Easy, easy quick fix, as it normally is. Oh no, let's see, alright, we're gonna have to put the bar through... That's gonna be interesting. Or actually, no, we don't have to do the bar, what we have to do... I probably need, well, let's see, let's see, I think... This is gonna be like the last one, though. I think we're, uh... I'm going to feel dumb because it's going to find a way to fall. I don't think it can, though. I think I think it's I think it has no choice but to stay. Let's see. Can you pick up the Korok after you get the seeds? Wait, what? Can you pick up the Korok after you? Oh, uh, maybe I'll I'll, I'll check. Killer, since we're right here, I'll check after I uh, finish. Let it go. Let it go. Yeah, buddy. Nice. I think only three people in the world know the embarrassment of the last time I tried to do one of these. I, I thought it was going to be super simple, and I ended up having to come up with this really janky build because... <sighs> because. The cool thing is he's going to give us more of those meaty balls. If there's my majority to see him doing so well on his own, take this with my thanks. 20 rupees? And that's not enough! I must be hungry, yes! Meaty balls! No! No, no, no! Veggie rice balls! Dude, what did I ever do to you? I mean, heat resistance, I guess, is fine, but I, I spent 700 rupees on an amazing suit of armor, so I wouldn't need that, but whatever. Uh. Nope, you have not. Uh, bomb. Yes! Uh. Uh, if you can, toss him off the mountain. Devious face. And with that, I'm off. Yeah, I don't. I don't think the game will punish us for a, a wanton act of of cruelty. Let's see if we can do that. What? Okay. So, if, but I'm gonna say this though, killer. If he if he screams or if he says, "Oh no, please don't kill me or hurt me," I, I'm not gonna be able to do it. Oh nope, it doesn't let you. Wait, am I on the right thing? Yeah. Nope, I can't grab it. No, they. Okay, they can get scared, but they can't. No. Nope. Sorry, killer. Sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry I could not commit a cruel act of, of violence on a helpless little turd ball of a creature. <laughs> uh, feels so wrong to say. All right, let's go ahead and save this. I've learned you got you got to save whenever you can because you never know when uh, things are going to go south on you. Oh, look at that unsuspecting loaf. Wow, that didn't do a lot. Oh yeah, it did a lot of damage actually. Buddy, fire. Breath Lizalo's horn, Lizalfos horn, a horn that glows red with the power of fire. Cook it with a critter to make an elixir. The right combination could draw the blazing power contained within. Which means Fire Breath Lizalfos tail, a tail that has stored up some heat from a scorching hot environment. Fuse it with a weapon to add a lashing whip like quality to attacks or cook it. I need to do that. We've got a few tails. I, I need to add that to something and see what what that's like. I think it'll be kind of cool but hard to control. That's my prediction. Could be wrong, though. Often am. All right, we're we're tracking. No. Please stand. All right, here we go. 
Uh yeah, there's there's something alive out there. Okay, more more building. And we know that is my strong suit. Uh are these goblins? Of course they are. Do I have a clear shot of some way to Oh yes we do. Oh yes we do. <laughs> Oh man, we are running low on arrows. That is not great. Oh, Robin Hood, you are not, sir. Yes! Third time's a charm. And of course, they're all still alive, but it looked cool. What's going on, fellas? Oh, they're sleeping now. How dare you? Well, I'm not complaining. So let's uh, sneak up on the big one. Oh crap! He's gonna he's gonna blow it, isn't he? Daggone it! You turd! Oh, that that doesn't work on him. I knew I was Marg. That was just bad. That was bad all over. I don't know how I can bomb them and then be like, well, I guess we'll go to sleep. There must be no clear and present danger. They're so dumb they deserve to die, and yet I couldn't finish it off. At least in this particular try. So, I have to give it another go. Okay. Alright, we're back here. They're falling asleep. I think they're a little... Companion is with them, so he's not going to be there to wake them up before I go go. Run, run. All right, that's all right, Eightfold Blade. I appreciate you. Quick side on, we, we've got to find a safe place to go. All right. Oh, he's got one of the pokey pokes too. Um, why am I? Oh, he's coming around. He's coming around. Dodge. I actually never beat that guy. I, I blew his armor off with the cart, so I don't know how this is going to go. Oh my gosh, the reach! Food! We must eat food! Oh. It's the good stuff. Let's grab... Just wait till I get my master sword, you little bastards. You got a moitya! Moitya, you hear? I mean, the pokey poke is fun, but... I long for a sword. That allows me to kill mine enemies swiftly. That's right, Sidon, you distract him. But I approach him from behind and poke him in the face. There we go. And the creepy chest with the skull face that surely holds nothing but good things for me. Cracks wide open. We should have a ton of, like... Well, goblin entrails to pick through. Oh, yeah. Can't carry anymore. Alright, we will take that spiny bone spear over. Uh, what is, why does it say... Uh, I'll tell you what, let's... We'll get rid of this one. That's an arrow. That's an arrows. Sorry, I'm being a little stingy or a little little protective of the arrows because they are 
very important in a lot of these conflicts. And I want to recover them as, as many of them as possible. Um, but yeah, I was going to say, there should be some really good stuff around here. Or at least useful stuff. Break those open. I wish there was one chest in the game that gave you 1,000 arrows. Yeah, that'd be nice. Killer. Well, though, Llama seemed to indicate that he found a way to, to mash replicate stuff. So there's probably a way to spam a thousand. Ooh. Cool. Sweet. I've got room for it. Um, Yeah, it, it would be nice. Yeah, I, I would trade a lot of the treasures we've gotten. The opal, for example. I should probably use the opal at some point to see, because it may be a big deal, but... As of right now, opal is like what I find in most chests, and I'd, I'd much rather just take five arrows for that. There's one arrow. Good thing they have such efficient storage. They use one giant box like this to hold one arrow. Oh. I knew that was going to happen. I'm just glad I was not in the blast that time. I was like, I'm going to end up dropping this on the blow, blow up things. Blow up. No. Gag. I, I just need to bite the bullet and, like I said, go back to one of the places that sells arrows and just buy a few hundred of them. Wait. Is it... It's really a claymore with... With mushrooms on it? I mean, it's such a it's such a spectacle. I, I, I almost feel I must. All right, this is almost dead. So we're going to jettison that. I'm going to pick up the bouncy claymore. And we'll see what happens. I knew we could attach mushrooms to pretty much everything. I just didn't think... I mean, they're, they're goblins. Of course, they're going to they're gonna do stupid stuff. What do you expect? Sorry for any goblins or goblin fans out there. I just... Uh, I don't, I don't find them to be particularly clever. Oh, but that just looks disgusting. With a mushroom growing on the end? Like, that's the pointy part. That's the, that's the part that you want of the sword that you want to do the cool things. And you've got mushrooms attached. I can't imagine that does well. Maybe maybe it just knocks them. Well, here we go. A bright red mushroom that grows... Oh, wait. No. That, that's, that can't be the right mushroom. It looks like it, though. Who cares? Why am I looking at mushrooms? I'm near... Well, I was near. I feel like this thing just keeps inching away from me. Like, I get close, and then it, it just kind of pulls back. This. Reminders for our Hylian workers. The red substance, yeah, we don't care. Don't care. Don't care. Don't remind me. I don't want to be reminded of anything, ever. <laughs> I'm trying to think. In this economy, I think a thousand arrows. Uh, I think they're four rupees each. So some quick math would be four thousand rupees. And I have what four hundred? I think. Yeah, it's not not a great situation. That can't be right. Is it four really four rupees per arrow? That means I can only buy like twenty of them. That's that's not. We're not, we're not, we're not, I thought we were rich after we bought that armor. We are, we're dirt poor now. We are, we're in bad shape. I'm so bad with finances. I could probably sell some of this stuff for, for good money, but I, I have, I've, I'm not lazy. I'm just, I'm reluctant to use something willy nilly because if it's really awesome and I, I use it and it's gone, then I don't have it anymore. Obviously that's kind of how it works, but yeah, so I don't know what stuff is really good, what stuff is like, okay, it's it's valuable, but it's something that I don't mind selling. Please, like, no! Okay. Well, are we, we're still not, we're not going the right direction. There we go. Nope! It's that dot we're looking for. Yes, okay. I almost... I live in Nintendo, it's pulling a bad joke with the sword that kids wouldn't get. What sword? The, the Master Sword? 
Is that is that is that what you're? Ref oh, there's there's stuff here. Go ahead and save. I believe Nintendo is pulling a bad joke with a sword that kids wouldn't get. Talking about the mushroom sword or the master sword or what, what, what sword are we talking about here? And I must be a kid because I'm not sure I, I get it. Oh, I found Goron City. Oh, these are Gorons. I've seen them before, like in screenshots and stuff. Okay, yeah, they're, uh... They're, they're chubby, rocky people. And it's giving a thumbs up. What the? Oh, it's a giant Goron. Oh, it's like Mount Goron more. Mount Rush Goron. I don't know. There's a Goron head. There's another one. There's another one. And he's going, hey, hey yeah. Okay, that's, that's cool, I guess. Um, yeah, I guess this is where my adventure has taken me. There's a lot of meat down there. Uh... Here, here goes nothing. Oh, wow, they are very, very sparsely clothed. This looks like a ninja turtle, kind of. I mean, they're not wearing short shorts. Oh, no, he is. Okay, I don't know what's going on here. I guess we should talk to somebody. Mm. Crane, not you too. And after all my warnings about the marbled rock roast... Everyone's acting funny because... Oh, wait. Because of the marbled rock roast that President Yonobo is mining. Hey. What are you mumbling about over there? I don't know who's talking. I'm, I've lost track. Oh, I, we might actually get voiceover from this guy. You all talking about marbled rock roast, are ya? Huh. Okay, so we're kind of doing the Ninja Turtle thing, I guess. There's nothing to worry about, in my opinion. Now stop flapping your rock chompers and get over here, Goro! Huh? Huh? What could you want? Your cool hat. It's the coolest. Mexican wrestler guy. Well, if it ain't Link. You're so tiny I barely even noticed you. Uh, sword mushroom. Where was the mushroom? Killer. Did you notice there were three of them? Three mushrooms. Now, what possible correlation could that have to anything in real life? I ask you. One mushroom, maybe. But three? I don't know. I think that'd be a bit of a genetic mutation. That's all I'm going to say. But you're, you're you're not wrong. I don't know. I just think like they made every ingredient that you could stick on the end of something. And that just happened to be. But but I, I, I see what you're saying. And I, I, I suspect that I kind of knew that before you said it. That that's what you were referring to. Um... The aliens. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Jap Japanese doing the alien thing. <laughs> the old three-capped mushroom. Hey! Hello, Bo! What's the big idea? Talking like that to our esteemed guest? <laughs> huh. Pluto, or should I say boss? You really don't know your place, do you? Hmm. Slurgo, tell me. Who runs Goron City these days? Yonobu oh. Hey. And Offrak, who's in charge of Yonobu Okay, I'm way, I'm doing way too much surfer, but I can't remember exactly what his voice sounded like before. You are President Yonobu. Huh? You hear that, Pluto? You're not needed around here no more. I, I added the flavor. <clears throat> You think I'm just gonna sit here and quiver with my fist like this? Yeah. So, Link, what's your business in Goron City, huh? Huh? Princess Zelda, huh? You're wondering about any strange goings on? Mm. Princess Zelda? I heard she's gone missing, but you're telling me she's still missing? 
I mean, it's hard to miss those lovely blonde locks of hers after all. Oh my gosh! Wow! Wow, we might see some pitch tents here, folks. Some pitch tents. Locks? Does that mean her hair? Oh, oh, the lady with hair like that. She is the same one President Yonobo talks to about marbled rock roast. All right, so she's got to have a doppelganger, right? Is, is that the conclusion we've reached at this point? Because there's like been three or four different distinct sightings of Zelda. We know she's locked in the past right now. Or, or are we going to find out in a cutscene that she's been hopping back between past and present? I don't think so. I don't know. Is it more reasonable to think she has a doppelganger? Or is it more reasonable to think that she's time hopping? I, I, I don't know. We'll, we'll just have to find out, I guess. Pipe down, you two. You'll keep your trap shut if you know what's good for you. As you can see, Goron City is the picture of peace, and we can't help with Princess Zelda. I don't I don't know why I would see that by... by you know what he reminds me of? Any of y'all remember? They, I can't remember what they were called. They were, they were about this big. You could get them in grocery stores in these little capsules in, in dispenser machines. They were this big. They were that color. They were like this tannish color. They were like little wrestlers. And they started off, I think most of them just kind of looked like kind of human-esque. And then they got ones with like six arms and whatever. I think there ended up being like a hundred of them. But you could collect them and they were like this big. And there's one of them that has like the, I think actually the main guy. The main guy has like a, the Mexican wrestler mask on. That's who he reminds me of. Just just so you know. I think I think you'd have to be at least in your late 30s to to, to know that. Because they, they, they weren't around all that long. But I remember for the longest time they were in the grocery store and I think I had like four of them. You really couldn't do much with them. They were kind of like erasers. They didn't erase anything, but they were just kind of that gummy vibe to them. Anyway, uh, getting back to the story. As you, uh, so you'd better shove off. Okay, that's a water analogy. If you have a boat, you shove off. We're nowhere near water. I have no boat. This guy, this guy reminds me of, uh, what's his face from Back to the Future? Um, you know, make like a tree and get out of here. I've got to get more marbled rock roast. Can't afford to keep her waiting. Your waifu? You know, boy, I swear, if you bring in any more of that stuff, I'll tremble violently and... Ah! Oh! oh. I can... <laughs> I called it. Oh, wow. Stodgy old guy. Sticking your nose into things when you've got your spine to worry about. Slurgo. Off rack. Time to head back to Unobo Co. Headquarters. Or HQ, as our friends across the pond may say. Okay, so Unobo's a dick. And Bluto is cool, but impotent. Oh, that guy used to be just a kid following me around crying, boss this and boss that. It was all business as usual around here. Then he created Yonobo Co., a group of Gorons who worked the mines. Once they started digging up that marbled rock roast, Yonobo and all the youngsters changed. <laughs> you heard me. Changed! All due to that strange marbled rock roast Yonobo dug up. Uh, how many times are we going to say Yonobo, the, the marbled rock roast, dug up? Now all the youngsters just sit around eating it instead of working. Why, some of them are even running scam, trying to get more marbled rock roast. So one thing I know for sure, marbled rock roast has nothing to do with anything. There's no way he can't see what a mess we're in with it, but he keeps playing dumb. I don't think he's playing dumb, sir. I think he is dumb as a box of rocks. If it weren't for my darn spine, I'd march into Yonobo Co's HQ and give Yonobo a piece of my mind. I don't think there's a whole lot of that to go around, but sure. That looks like a Bantha, doesn't he, from Star Wars? Just a hairless Bantha with an eye patch and gray hair? Okay, maybe not so much a Bantha. But HQ is in a pain-in-the-butt-neck location, you see. For starters, I'd have to go through the northern mining site. I guess we're going to go through the northern mining site. Arg! In this condition, I can't even ride a cart, which is what we're going to do. What to do? Am I supposed to say... Okay, no, he's... I, I thought... Yeah, take care. Yeah. All right, so he was just there as an info dump. To tell us to get a cart and go to the mine. A mine. A mine. 
This is no mine. It's a tomb. Good up, Boromir. Okay, well. I do have to remind myself that as immersive as this game is, it is not Skyrim. Like, you can't, you're not just going to walk into a room and walk out with, like, 50,000 things. All right, so we can do some cooking, and I should probably try that. Um, I don't know. Hopefully, I've collected enough good stuff. Let's see. Uh, let me remember how to do this. Um, is there something we can cook with the herb? We're going to hold... Stop holding. Um, select for recipe. There we go. Dubious food. We do not want that. Veggie rice balls. Not enough ingredients. We don't have whatever that grainy thing is. We do have enough for energizing fried wild greens, which sounds horrible, but look at what it gives us. So we're going to do that. This is going to be the first time that I think we've cooked something in this game that doesn't make me hungry. But you know what? That's very useful. I mean, getting stamina and health, that actually is very good. Uh, I think I'm going to do it again. You can always use a little more, a little more cooking. Link is easily entertained. <laughs> Look at that. Look at what I just made. All right, let's see if there's something better. Ooh, yeah, let's cook Let's cook with some meat here. Uh, raw. We have more raw prime meat than raw regular meat. All right, let's see what we can do. Like for recipe. Oh, that one looks good. Man, whatever that grainy stuff is, we need that. That is good stuff. Oh, this is also good, though. Oh, look at that. Energizing meat and mushroom skewer. Uh... That gives us five. That's that's what we want. Yeah. All right. So cooking ain't as hard as I thought it was, at least in this game. In real life, it's very complicated. Uh, I'm going to cook another one of those, actually. That's a nice feature. So hats off to Nintendo for uh, for making this process a lot easier. They could have just had you had to select it manually each time, but they, they made it about as streamlined as they could, so I, I am, I'm grateful. Uh, I think we've got enough. I mean, can you really have enough? I mean, that, that's a lot, of, a lot of extra stuff. I want to make an elixir. Um, that's the one I want. Oh, I, that's right. I needed that stupid little lizard that I've been able to find. And here I need a fairy. So... Uh, sticky sneak, spicy, warming effects, energizing. Apparently, I do have enough to create a spicy, a spicy elixir, so I could go through some cold weather. Uh, stamina, that's actually good. I apparently I've got enough for that. Wait, what? All right, so I need to let me find. Oh wait, do we have grasshoppers? I don't think that was saying we had grasshoppers. I don't remember catching any grasshoppers. I don't think we have any grasshoppers. So that's... Okay, so the recipe just tells you what can be cooked, not what you can cook. All right, I guess I guess that'll have to do for now. Well, that's, I'm just going to cook one more since it's so easy to do. And since we have the recipe for it. Oh, wait, I was cooking, not eating. Whatever. Whatever. Call it good. Let's save that. After all that cooking, I'm quite tired. All right. And... Yeah. Cool. Um, I'm headed toward the phenomenon. I don't really care much about any of this stuff right now. Okay, so I can buy stuff. Wow, sapphires cost 300 I could sell it for 300. Um, very essence of ice. Such a high price. Okay, so yeah, I could sell them if I really need to. Oh wait, does he, does he have arrows? No, he just sells sapphire. All right, I think we've got sapphire. 
think it said we have six of them, so I'm not gonna buy any. Hey, water! 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 Look at that! Oh, we can swim up that waterfall. Like, we're cool. All right, you're not eating the meat, maybe. Oh, ooh. Hey, bub. Keep your hands off of that. Hey, Fugo. Get this guy. Dude, that's extreme. All I did was look at the darn thing. Hey, Fugo. Get this guy out of here. Well, that's right. He's not here now. I'm a dumbass. Anyway, that hunk of junk is still a work in progress. It's fragile, so don't touch it. Give me a break. That Hylian Blondie had me making the weirdest stuff. She said it was a simple mask, but it looked funny to me. And she had me make it with an odd material. Uh, Tiny Players. hey -o. Earn yourself a follower. Thank you, Tiny Players. Thank you very much. I, I am genuinely grateful for anybody who chooses to follow and to watch and to spend their time here with us as we go through, at least at the moment, going through Tears of the Kingdom. Do I like overlays? Um... I don't know. I, I guess maybe I do. I've thought of, um, like, when I do retro gaming, I'll probably need to do an overlay because the the 4 by 3 ratio, like, I'll need to do a layout. Um, I don't use them a lot right now. Uh, but, yeah, in general, I, I guess I like them. Um, I do have, like, a few, like, like video clips that I want to start throwing in, but it's, I just haven't had a time to kind of catch up on that just yet. But overlays are cool, yeah. I do like I do like working in Photoshop. Photoshop is fun. Oh, uh, something about Fugo eating the roast that we don't ever get tired of talking about. Oh, here it is again. Uh, but now all he talks about is marbled rock roast. He won't so much as show his face around here anymore. Hey, damn it! And it was finally time for me to pass along the secret of our trade: how to make the border breaker. Oh, that might be the thing that crushes that giant pulsing boulder. I create overlays for people in Rumble themes, and I'm working on a full starter kit for Rumble Edition overlays. Interesting. Interesting. Um, I mean, that's something I might I'd be curious and taking a gander at, seeing what it entails, what, what's involved. Um, that sounds pretty cool. Um, I, I hadn't thought of, like, going Rumble-specific. It was just going to be kind of, like, more channel-specific, I guess, but that might be pretty nifty. Eh? Customer? Sorry, Bob, I'm a smithy, not a shopkeeper. My focus is on the boulder breaker right now. The art of crafting such a butte has been passed down through the ages. Only a chosen few can make it. It's a historical weapon, and making it is an absolute honor. Dude, you are beating that thing so many times. I'm talking about the, the piece of metal that's in his hand, for anybody who's not paying attention. Here I thought I'd be teaching my apprentice, Fugo, to make it. But the old fool is obsessed with that marbled rock roast. Oh god, if I have to hear about marbled rock roast ever again. It's all he cares about anymore. I told him to shove off right out in the middle of work. I'm done with him. Cool. Cool story. So that's the boulder breaker, huh? So I'm guessing if there are any weapons in here, I'm not going to be able to buy them. Doesn't look like there's anything here I can use. Yeah, I'm not restrictive on Rumble theme only. I can create in your channel colors. Oh, I wasn't saying. I, I just I just hadn't thought of doing it though. I wasn't saying there's anything wrong with it per se. Um, but um, I mean, is this is this a business that you do? Or do you do it for exposure? Like what? Uh, what is your? Um, I mean, do you do it just to kind of try to make some uniform, uniform stuff? I'm just curious, just curious. Oh, he peed in the water. He said he'd make me... Wait, he said he'd make minecart land. Jango is a liar. Jango Unchained? I don't know you. He's got a point. The kid's smart. Jango told me I shouldn't talk to people I don't know. Jango? Axel? I really don't know you. Whoa, dude! He got freaked the heck out. Wait, what? Okay, so you got scared. You said you're not supposed to talk to strangers, and now here you are talking because a stranger asked you a question. You have a very thin brain, my little friend. You will not go far in life. 
Django eats marble and rock roast all the time and won't make minecart land. That's why I talk to a stranger. What kind of ridiculous logic is that? Uh, it's all, I can also provide the PSD file to edit the overlay if you wanted to. It's a part-time job and contributing to the Rumble community. That's awesome, Tiny Players. Um, I'm trying to think. So, without going into full full mode, I am actually... I have had to put kind of the brakes on my uh, discretionary spending uh, for the summer, pretty much, just because I kind of went... I went a little overboard uh, in some things, thinking that telling myself I was making an investment in something. I didn't invest in anything crazy, but bottom line is I've had to scale back a little bit. Um, uh, okay, also good to see you later. I'll send you a screenshot of what the overlay looks like, and I'll respond back after two hours because of power outages in South Africa. Oh, you're in South Africa. Awesome, man. Awesome. Um, okay. Yeah, send me a screenshot, and... Uh, yeah, I'll I'll yeah, I'll look into it. Um, and I mean, depending on the pricing, I mean, if if I can, I mean, I'm not I'm not broke. I'm just, you know, if it, if it's like a subscription or something like that, like it's it's probably something I couldn't do for a little while. Just just until I, I I'm kind of back on stable ground again. I, I'm not pushing financial woes at all. I'm I'm fine. I'm good. It's just discretionary, you know, spending stuff on things I don't necessarily need. That's something I've I've just had to scale back on. But it doesn't mean I can't, um, you know. I can't can't help out or, or can't contribute there. Yeah, I provide two ways of getting the overlays with a watermark, which is free, and twenty dollars will give you non watermark version. Awesome. Okay. Yeah. I mean that that's reasonable. So yeah, just um, if you want to send it over, I'll take a look. And especially if I can get the PSD file, I do like kind of customizing things. Um, you know, but yeah, if if um, you know, if it looks like something I can I can use, I would definitely uh, definitely like to help out small business. Oh, I definitely need to be wearing my swim gear for this. Okay, I can change it while I'm in the water, though, can't I? Discord username is Schward. S E H W A A R D. Wait, S E H W A A A R D. It's triple A, just like me, triple A gamer. <laughs> okay, not really. Okay, That's, we're gonna swim up the waterfall, and to do that, we need. Our uniform. Yep. Yep. I do kind of wish you could, like, equip all and then unequip. Like, whatever part you didn't want to have, it would go a little bit faster, but it's not that bad. Swimming, swimming, swimming. Oh, Discord! Yeah, no, okay, it is short, short actually. Discord. I thought you were asking uh, the Rumble name, but it actually is the same. Discord is also Schward. Where's my option to swim? Or to to shoot up the waterfall? It's a waterfall. Why am I not swimming up the waterfall? That was weird. Very weird. Look, I'm not supposed to be climbing. I'm supposed to be swimming, swimming up waterfalls. The heck is this nonsense? Am I not wearing the armor, or is the game just like no? Because I can spin attack. Yeah, I should be able to go up the waterfall, but huh? That's weird. All right, thank you, Tiny Player. I will, uh, I will check it out um, after, after the. Str Actually, well, let's see. Just, I, I can take a quick look here, I guess. Doop -a -doop -a -doo. Oh, cool. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I and I still need to figure out how to uh, how to get chat on screen. I have a friend, uh, Silver Silver G Suit, that also does that um, that streams on Rumble, and uh, he knows how to he knows how to get the chat on there. I don't. Um, but yeah, I'll t I'll take a closer look at it in the future as well. Um, like I said, I think I think for 
I think for something like this, I don't mind having it just full screen, but like I said, using an overlay for um, retro games will be useful. But... All right, sounds good, Tiny Players. Um, I don't know. I might be off in two hours. Yeah, I probably won't be on. Um, I've got, and I've actually got a, I've got a meeting this afternoon for a few hours, but, um, but I will, I'll, I'll, I'll ping you back on there, um, on Discord, uh, before, bef uh, before this evening or by this evening. I've got a few other communications I got to send out, so I will include you in that. And uh, yeah, that would be awesome. A dedicated section for rumblers. Uh, but thank you so much for uh, for for tuning in and uh, for sending me what you got. Oh, maybe because we're too close to the rocks. Uh, but like I said, I'll, I'll take a gander and I will get back with you. Um, like I said, by by this evening, um, I should be back home by about five, which is yeah, about five hours from now, and uh, and I'm going to be getting some business stuff done. So look forward to to chatting with you. Hey, you look like that Link fella. You haven't seen him around, have you? Oh wait, he's he's zombified. President Yonobo told me not to let him near Yonobo Co HQ. There's a cart up ahead that goes straight to HQ, but there's no way I'm telling you that. Yeah, Yonobo shouldn't have left dumb brain dead zombies in charge of gatekeeping. Hi, right, tiny player. Tiny players. Sorry, don't want to forget the S's there. All right, so there's a cart. We're going away from the phenomenon, though. I want to go to the phenomenon. The phenomenon's up there. Oh, no. Where is it? Oh, my gosh. I'm so far away. Oh, it's actually next to the HQ. It's a wait. What? Yeah, 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 yeah. I won't tell you that you can get... By getting on a cart up ahead. Okay, so I gotta go up ahead. Oh, let me change out of my ridiculous swimwear that doesn't get me up the waterfall like it's supposed to. Boo! False advertising. Boo! Oops, wrong button. Back in my day, you only had start and select. It was very difficult to hit the wrong button. Nowadays, you got start, select, menu, select again. All kinds of crazy, wacky, jacky stuff. Let's get our cooler not white. <laughs> Actually, you know what? This feels like this feels just very Luke, right? Luke Link, right now. We're just gonna do that, and I guess we'll put this thing. On. Actually, you know what? Well-worn hairband. Cool. I, we look a little more Link-like right now. When we get into a fight, we'll we'll equip some serious stuff. But I am not unserious enough to go with Tingle's shirt. <laughs> so, all right. There's a cart up here. Let's see. Lizard, lizard, lizard. I hate that they vanish like that. That's not cool. You should have to actually outrun me. Like a man. Race me like a man, lizard. Mm. Okay, yeah, may maybe it's just because it's not on real waterfall. Aha! Oh no, it's another these these must be the village people. <laughs> like I believe we we've come across the village people right here. Dun, 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 it's fun to stay at the Oh, even though I wanted to move the cart, it wouldn't be happening with the safety officer so preoccupied. You heard of this stuff called marbled rock roast? No, I haven't heard of marbled rock roast. Please tell me about it because it's something I have heard nothing about ever. Boars? Boar's head? Sandwich? Hmm. Ever since President Yonobu started mining it, everyone's been stupid. I don't know what voice I'm doing anymore. It's all blending together. They all look like they sound the same. Everyone's been so busy with it to care about work. What a, oh, what a, what Warl Burton? Is that the guy? I haven't touched it, so I'm doing fine. I get the sense that stuff's just not great for you. Probably a lot of people will be talking like him because it's a very easy voice to do. All right, well, I guess I'm going up here. Wait, no. Okay, well. Whoa! Oh, I run, Scoob! Oh. Can't forget our good buddy, the fan.
I love how he's all freaked out, and then it's like, okay, I'm good now. Let's go! This looks like it's gonna be fun! Whee! Whee! Go along, cuckers! I'm on my way to the Opus. Okay, that's good. I'm on my way to the HQ. Hopefully my fans got enough juice to get us there. Oh dear. Oh, very poorly placed gap! Yay. This is fun. Riding the rails like they used to do in old times. Oh, Ruby Rabbit. Oh, not worth it, not worth it. I can't get it. Oh, wait, no. Actually, actually I can't. No oh, Ruby Rabbit. He's running right toward me. Okay, well... At least I can get my arrows back. That's kind of a nice thing if you don't if you don't if you don't hit anything with it. Then you get your arrows back. All right, so this cart has taken me to the precipice of Isle of Rab Rabbit Gallery. Oh yeah, we're not we're not where we wanted to be. I think we're close to where we want to be, but this is not where we want to be. So I think there was another cart track that we probably were supposed to go on. There we go. Alright, uh, looks like we're going to be doing some climbing. I feel like we've done this already, but... What are you going to do? I've uh, kind of gone around in circles, but look at all this shiny, shiny stuff here. Looks like we're going to take a swipe at it with our little rocky, rocky thing here. Bam, bam. Rock salt. I still have yet to find a use for that, or amber, to be honest. But... And Amber, if you're watching, I of course I don't mean you. My sister's name is Amber. I was not saying that Amber is useless. The last burst gets us up to the top. Alright. I guess this is HQ. Yep, there we go. Finally, after <laughs> three hours, we managed to get to the destination I had been after from the beginning of the stream. So Yay, and hey, we haven't we haven't uh dropped out, so that's good. Speaking of dropping. Oh, let me guess. You're not going to let me in. Hey, it's you again. The one who knows President Yanobo. He's talking about marbled rock roast with a blonde lady right now. Ooh, ooh, Zelda Zappaganger. Oh, they're not, they're genuinely not going to allow me to get in there. No one's allowed to come in. Mm. I don't really like that lady. Oh, that, that, that yeah, that's definitely a doppelganger. That's not Zelda popping in and out from time. Yep, still here. <laughs> Thank you, Killer, for the affirmation. Yeah, no, it, it, it can be hard because really the only indication I have, because uh, I, th I don't know if it was on here or I think it was on my uh, Elder Scrolls stream. It it went down to zero, but then it went it went back up. And if somebody hadn't told me, hey, the stream completely dropped, I would have thought it was still going. I thought it could dip, and then it would start back up again. But if it drops, drops, it cuts out, and you have to restart the stream. So appreciate the appreciate the affirmation. If it had dropped since I started, I would not know. But it definitely, but it's definitely the marbled rock roast's fault that everyone's been acting funny. Aww. Yeah. President Yonobo said he got that weird mask he's wearing from the lady too. Oh, the the. The uh, 
you know, Nacho Libre mask. He was always so nice, but as soon as he started wearing it, he got real mean. Aww. Oh my gosh, just let me in, you little twerps. Hey, you're friends with President Yonobo, aren't you? You know he created Yonobo Co. for mining. It was supposed to be helpful for people who needed ore and stuff, but now it's just making things weird around here. If we let you pass, will you convince President Yonobo? Yes, yes, to stop mining marble rock rose. Yes, I will. Oh, Slurgo, did you hear that? Mm. Sure did. Maybe you'll get President Yonobo to be himself again. Uh -huh. Oh, hey, it's hot in there. It'd be dangerous if you went like that. Hey, take this sword. It's dangerous to go alone. Mm. If you don't have fire-resistant equipment, you should go to HQ to get some. Well, I have it. So step up off me, little squirts. Behold my magnificent flame breaker armor. There you go. Don't let my boots fool you. I'm actually quite smoking. Oh, you know what? I should wear my cool hat, too. Behold the flame of Arun. No! My, my wooden... Okay, that's cool. That is a nice touch. I'm going to give this game that. If, if, you have a, if you have a wooden shield equipped... Now, I... And probably a wooden stick. It bursts into flame. All right, we got a cutscene here, I think. And there's Zelda. Or Zelda look-alike. And there's how we break those rocks. Oh, oh, and the meat's in there. The marbled roast rump, or whatever it's called. Uh, Got it out already, President Yonobo! Uh, Why are they wearing thongs? I guess those are supposed to be like, I don't know, whatever. We want you to take off that weird mask so you can go back to the President Yonobo we know and love. Or at least know. Oh. Boys, ah, uh. oh huh? uh, no, ah, oh, mask, got me on his clutches. Arr! Princess Zelda is right. Marble rock roast is good. It makes everyone happy. Okay. Are we going to even talk about the fact that that was Zelda? You big dummy. That didn't take much. He's going down quick. Oh, get out of here. Get out of here. Apparently I can't hit him when he's stomping around like that. Crack the mask some more. Boom! See his uh, secret identity. Oh, that was not cool. I should have dodged a little better. Oh, if I don't dodge, he doesn't get dizzy. Alright, fair enough. Okay, I need to be a little faster. Right, to dodge! Yeah! Okay, that was just the epitome of anticlimactic. Dang, I finally get a cool. Oh, there goes Mask. We're good now. Hmm? What happened? What happened? Shout out to Matt McMuscles and his What Happened. Although he doesn't do that on YouTube Rumble, does he? Oh well, never mind. Slurgio, or Slurgo, off rack. I don't understand. Oh. Everything's a blur ever since I put on the mask from Princess Zelda. I've totally gone way off the reservation with the voice, but whatever. I need to talk to her. Maybe she can tell me what the story is. Oh. Hey, where is she anyway? Huh? Ah, Princess Zelda! I need Zelda. <laughs> That ain't Zelda. Why didn't Link say that? I don't think we've encountered anything that is an obvious, like, doppelganger thing. All right. So, I guess ultimately we're going to get his superpower. And we're going to be able to break those rocks that we saw at different points and get into the cave and do cool stuff. Or he's going to accompany us. I don't know. 
Is everyone all right? Nobody's injured? Huh? What was that? I thought I heard something. Huh? Well, it doesn't matter right now. Princess Zelda is just outside the cave. Ah, oh, that blonde lady was Princess Zelda? Yeah, and I need to ask her about that mask and the marbled rock roast. We gotta hurry and talk to her. Oh. The only way to break these red rocks is with my charge attack. But I can't really see where I'm going when I charge. <laughs> Link, be my eyes and guide me. Goro, what the crap? Okay, when Yunoba's aura is charged, he can be aimed in any direction for a fiery rolling attack. Here I go! Oh, okay, here we go. So we're aiming. Here I go. Okay, let's go. I can do it. Okay, he definitely sounds way different than the voice I gave him. So he sounds better, actually. You are going to be a useful lump of flesh. I can tell you that now. Ooh. That did the trick. Come on, boys. Let's go after Princess Zelda. Link, why are you just standing there? If that, I mean, if you think it's actually Zelda, either you'd be like, no, that ain't Zelda. There's no way she would do that. She doesn't make people wear goofy masks like that. Or you should be going, Princess Zelda? I'm, I'm not seeing her. Huh? What's that red haze spouting from death? Death. <laughs> well, it's probably death. I'm going to go out on a ledge and say red haze coming from death mountain is probably death. You don't remember, President Yonobo? You told us the Red Haze is dangerous and that we shouldn't go near it. Aww. It showed up at the same time Hyrule Castle started floating and the upheaval happened. The ground was super rumbly, and you were worried Death Mountain might erupt again, so you went to check it out. Ah. Yeah, and when you came back from the mountain, you were wearing that mask. Huh. I remember now, Goro. I saw Princess Zelda at Death Mountain's crater. She talked to me and gave me that mask to wear. Uh -huh. So does that mean Princess Zelda lives inside Death Mountain, I ask, because I'm a stupid idiot? Mm. Well, she's definitely not here. Maybe if we go up there, we'll find her. Oh. Slurg, Offrek, I'm going to go look for Princess Zelda. I can't be having you two along, but I'll sort this out. I'll ask her how to get everyone back to normal. Ooh. So wait back home for me. Everything is going to be A-okay. <laughs> ah, oh, gosh. <laughs> Link, please come with me to Death Mountain to look for the princess. Cards are useful. All right, we're not okay. So he just kind of replaced Sidon. Oh no, we got a whole group here. We got we got fish. We got rock. Now we just need paper and scissors. Okay. So he's gonna follow us around, right? Yeah, I guess he is. All right. So that means we can break the. The rocks that we saw before. Oh, maybe that was one up. No, no, it was back. It was back some other way, but I don't. Those look kind of arbitrary. So let's go ahead and save our progress. And I guess we're going to the blinky thing. Yunobo came back to his senses, working together, everyone safely escaped the cave. If you go to Death Mountain, where Princess Zelda and Yunobo last met, you may be able to find a lead. Stop calling a Princess Zelda. There's no way that's Zelda. She would have talked to me. She would have been like, Link, I love you. Don't leave me, Link. <laughs> Get rocked, pooch. Yeah. We have the meats. Oh, here we go. This is exactly what I was thinking. All right. Let's go, big tubby. I wish there was a different button you could use for each of them. Boom, shaka laka laka. Oh, wow. Okay, so I can't carry it, but I can throw it. Interesting. Discovery! Unovo HQ East Cave. I do have my fire armor on, so we can... Oh, boy, we got more... Uh, oh, that's right, it broke my... Oh, that's telling me I can't use that because it will break, burst into flame. I appreciate it, 
but I do find it a bit frustrating. Pretty cool. The the I automatically have flame arrows now, though, without really having to do anything. Oh no! Nice. I am the bestest. No. Yeah, buddy. Uh, I think we use this. Oh, poo diddly. You did. You very did. Cobble Crusher. It, in its former state, this hefty weapon knocked out many a foe. Decayed, it still packs a punch and is great for breaking rocks. Dope. Give me my Cobble Crusher. Is this a shrine? I mean, oh, it is. We just have to hack our way through it. All right, cool. Let's use our cobble crusher. Oh, nice. A little flame. Action there. Not enough for us to. Oops. Nope. Okay, so it's somewhat buried. Oh, there we go. Oh, we're at the outer ring. Interesting. Okay. Man, my cobble crusher. Uh, I missed the Isism Shrine. Wait, Isism? 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 Sure. Shrine. We have reached a shrine. Oh, I forgot. We need to. We need to get our heart or stamina up. Uh, upgrade. Oh, it's another one where you gotta... I'm guessing this is gonna be a... a, uh, combat shrine, then. We're back to our briefs, y'all. Outside equipment is forbidden beyond this point. Proving grounds in reverse. Thick stick. Old wooden shield. Let's do this. Actually... Yeah, because I want my shield. Probably won't be good against whatever we've got going on here, but... Alright, so we'll have to reverse this. We've been here before, done that. Um, What's up there? Okay, that's a patrol. Right, let's go ahead and save. This is going to get ugly, I think. It should only take us a couple tries before we figure out the, the secrets to getting uh, the victory we so desire. Alright. Let's go with... Oh, they're throwing crap at us. This is where we get off. Ooh, is that a bomb? It's probably a bomb. It's a bomb. It's a bomb. Oh, wow. They're just throwing them all over the place, aren't they? Yeah, well, what good is your bomb against my stick? Yeah. What could possibly go? Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Oh, piss. <laughs> jump, Link, jump. Get out of the way, lad. Okay. Nope, nope, you're dead. You're dead. Oh no, we got crushed in the gears. Wow. I, I forgot we do have... No, we don't have a bow and arrow. See, that's different. The last shrine, we were at least... I think we were able to get a bow and arrow. We had... There were other things we could deploy. I think the bombs are going to help us, but I've got to figure out a way to get to them. So I don't think... This shrine imprisons and purifies the ancient evil. You will have to do this in your tidy whities that actually aren't tight or white, but... Uh, 
Uh, back to simpler times. Okay. Let's see. If we go up that way, we know what happens. Ah, what is this? Looks like something to beat. Nope, just kidding. I need the bomb. I need one of them to throw those bombs at me. I think they're the ones chucking them. Is there a bomb dispenser, maybe? You're a bomb dispenser. There's a bow. There's a bow. We need the bow. And we need arrows, but... Can I take one of your bombs? Yep. Really? Dang. Oh, gosh. Uh, throw it over here. Over here, big, big dummy. Uh, I'm not going to hit that. Wait, what is this? Oh, because he did, he did kill one of the constructs inadvertently. That was nice. That was very nice of him. Kill the construct. All right. So, yeah, we want him to throw it down here. But as soon as I get his attention... Alright, so as soon as I get his attention... See me! Look at me! Okay, wait a minute. How long is the trigger on those things? Not very long. You see me, right? Don't shoot arrows at me! Throw the big balls! Not those, the bigger ones! Doggone it. Give me your stupid rock throwing. I need the bomb here. I'm sure there's something inside that wall that I want. You know what? I think I'm just going to have to take that guy out and hope that I can get a hold of one of those bombs on my own. But first, I'm going to take a quick break, lay down a bit, catch my breath, part of my strategy, and now, now I will venture forward. The crappy thing is I think you have to start over every time, no matter how far. Yeah, it's it's every time you die, it's a complete reset. So Alright, well, you just gotta gotta get good, as they say. So I think my initial strategy was okay, actually, which is just to run run up, grab the bow. Grab the arrows. I do still have my glider. There you go, there you go. It did it! It did what I wanted it to do. All that for that? Oh, that's a crock. Well, at least we know there's really no... I thought that was going to be like a secret entrance or something, but it definitely was not. Alright, five arrows. That should be more than enough to... Okay, well, maybe not more than enough. Maybe it'll be enough. Just enough. Oh, sweet. What do we got here? Oh, we got some more arrows. Nice. I mean, one and a half hearts. Things aren't looking good. All we got to do is get poked with anything that these guys are checking at us when we're screwed, but... Oh, well. Um... Get on that, Luke. Luke? I keep calling him Luke. Who's the fool, Luke? I feel so naked. I really need to start beating him down with this. Oh, piss. Oh, I didn't even get one kill. That sucks. They're shooting me from all over. Not a fair fight. Not a fair fight. Give me hearts. Don't throw rocks at me. I'm going to have to go guerrilla tactics on these guys. Or... Alright, so we know we got bombs in the corner now. But running towards them is a bad idea. Oh, jeez, where'd you guys come from? This is just cruel. And clearly... I'm just using the arrows now because it looks like... I mean, all they gotta do is get one hit at this point. 
And uh, so I'm just going to use what I've got. Maybe whittle their, uh, their numbers down enough to stay alive. But if I don't, at least I won't die with a full quiver. I feel like that's a saying that somebody should have. If you're going to die, don't die with a full quiver. In fact, just crash into a wall like a moron. Oh, I mean, see, they're so close. It's really the archery guy that I have to worry about, so I should probably... Well, actually, if they hit me with a rock, it's going to be bad, so... Everything here is lethal. Everything is lethal. Okay, I can't pick up their rocks. And it doesn't look like I can pick up their arrows either, because they're definitely not hitting me. How many do I have left? Four? Suck. Well, do I have another bow? <laughs> he said, hopefully. Okay, well, did not see that coming. I thought I was going to run out of uh, ammo before I ran out of bow, but... My bow. It's my bow. Alright, um... I don't remember where the explosives are. I think they're on the other side of... No, I'm going to run into that. That was dumb. That was really dumb. Go back. We need to ascend. Which I think is only going to be possible. With the power of rewind. We'd be really... We'd be really... Oh, crap, Ola. No ranged weapons against a guy with all the range. Sweet! I think I got hit by a, a rock, but... Oh, no. No, no. Run, not like this, not like this. Do I not have a... I thought I got a... Oh, I just got this. Alright, well, that's a pokey. Very useful pokey. Very useful pokey. Very useful pokey. Pokey, poke, 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 poke. No, no. Run, run. Run, Link. Oh, goodness gracious. Oh, palms are sweaty. Palms are sweaty. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. I want to live. Let Link live. Well, now I know that... Ah, oh, jeez. I know so many things, but... No, I got hit with a rock! Stupid rock. I mean, luckily the rocks are not one-shot kills. They're just kind of chip damage, but... I'm going to start blinking red here in a minute. They're almost dead. Almost got them on the run. And take them on the run, baby. If that's the way you want it, baby. Then I don't want you around. Darn constructs. I don't believe in. Not for... Oh, let me grab this thing, too. Alright, so what... No, no, no! Oh, that was close. Oh, it's not the last one. It's not the last one. Zonit Lonsword Broadsword! Now, what's gonna happen on my nifty weapons when when I... Okay, he's the last one. I think we've got enough. No, we do not. Alright, Link. I'm gonna need you to... Wait, wait, wait. Can I... need to get close to you, buddy. Crap, I need to get closer than that. Come on, come on, come on, come on over here. Run, run, run. Gotta get him? Oh, he's throwing something at me. Ooh, that almost hit me. Okay. I think I can just, I think I can just hit him with arrows at this point. I think he's low enough. Oh, sweet! Ha <laughs> ha! Victorious! I'm so glad that was commemorated for the ages. Your equipment will be returned to you. Because you got a lot of cool stuff and we don't want you to keep it. 
Oh, okay, I'm just not naked anymore. Nice. Whew. All right. The, the important thing was I never lost my dignity in that fight, you know? I was I was a cool cucumber. I never doubted myself. I never I never felt like I was in any real danger. I was just, I was very stoic. Kept it cool. And uh yeah, just kind of uh triumphed over evil. Evil? Yes, evil. But, I'm back here because, oh, there is most certainly a treasure chest. What do we got in here? Probably arrows, I'm guessing. Uh, but yeah, there's probably a treasure chest up there. Oh, you know what? I wonder if I can stack these. Well, I can definitely carry them. Can I attach them to them? First time we've actually used barrels as stairs, but can you climb up on the barrels, Link? I I take that back. I know you can climb up on the barrels, Link. Are you refusing to climb up on the barrels? Oh, here we go. Here we go. Big brain. Oh crap. Why do you hate my big brain game? Every time I come up with a great idea, you're like, nope, I'm not going to do that. That's, that's too smart. You, you, you're too smart for this game, sir. There we go. Link, climb on the barrels. They're right in front of you. Look, it's a staircase, man. You've seen stairs before, haven't you? One. Oh, you have the worst hops. Why aren't you Mario? Oh, Mario. You suck, dude. Yes! All I had to do was insult him. Oh, whoa, what's this? What's this? Oh. That's a big ball. Oh, it's a spiky ball. I can attach it to the end of a stick or something, and it's going to be awesome again. Let's let's put that down. I don't want to put it up there because I don't know if I'm going to be able to get up here or not. But we can we can leave it there for now. Now I want to take my temporary stairway to heaven. Uh, what did I say before? Link, you're stupid. You're the worst. I want Mario back. Along those lines. Use the stairs, Link. Use... Oh, suck. Oh, no. Oh, come on. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait. Oh, no, I needed to... Maybe? Oh, shoot. Okay. Where's the big... There you go. All right, we're going to attach you to... Can we attach it to this? That's probably not a great use of it. We'll attach you to... That. Okay, it's smaller, but we know it's awesome. Yeah. Like metal balls are cool. Alright, so maybe, hopefully the chest wasn't up there. I don't know where else it could be, though. Because we blew up that crevasse. And I don't think there's another one. But I don't see evidence of a chest up there either. Nope. I mean, I know there. Well, let's 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 be smart about this. We're gonna go by the main entrance because sometimes they put the chest right inside the door. There it is. There it is. No need to keep looking. Make sure the chest is not right in front of your face before you go trying to sort things out. Magic rod. 
And I have, an, I have enough space for that now? Okay, everything's full now. Okay. Alright. Yay! Got a shrine! Sweetness! Oh, goodness! Good bit of adventuring today. Don't you know? All right, we're actually uh, three. Well, yeah, that's. I was gonna be like, hey, we're only three away from getting the other one, but it only takes four, so we're you know seventy-five percent away from. <laughs> we're twenty-five percent closer to getting the second. Uh, blessing or whatever it is, I don't know. Brain is starting to go to mush. It amazes me when people can do like five and a half. Although I guess if I was playing like something like Mario, I could probably go longer. Because it's a little, a little more straightforward, you know, platforming and such. Whereas this kind of thing is a little more noggin intensive, I guess, for lack of a better word. Clearing up. All right, there we go. Oh, I could have used, I could have just used my my big beefy friend now to just blaze through there. All right, this is good, but this isn't what we came in here for. We came in here, we're trying to trying to do a thing, and I don't know what that thing is. But it's cool, we now have that as a warp place. There's our big beefy friend. I think we just came in here. Oh, here we go, that's what we needed to do. I knew there was something else. Okay, I'm glad you're enthusiastic. I can do it. Yeah, I don't know why or how I got on the... Uh, can you do this too? Yeah, you can. I like you, buddy. You're going to come in very useful. I can do it! Yes. Gosh, I just, it's, it's hard not to see these giant, big, rough, brown rocks as just, they just, it just makes, it looks like boop. It just feels like I'm, I just, oh my gosh. I don't know if that occurred to anybody else. It, it, it just doesn't, it doesn't feel good. I'm not saying that to be gross. It just really, it's like, I feel like I'm cleaning out a colon every time I do these, use these things. Not that I've ever cleaned out a colon in real life, but I have a feeling it would look something like this. Come on, my chunky friend. Goro! Yeah. Come on. Here I go! Charge! Oh, that's not exactly where I wanted you to go. How do I get you to go straight down? That's gonna be a little challenge, isn't it? Goro! Oops. Got him stuck in a pit, it looks like. I hear stuff. Stuff is stuff is making noise. I think it's down in the pit though. I was correct. Oh, it's this guy. Hello, that guy. Oh, you turd muffin. You made me waste an arrow. Oh, I wasted two arrows on you! Now you're dead. I am alive. And I have your bubble gem. Did they do anything? Okay, yeah, they, they kinda do something. More amber. I hope amber's cool. Uh, I guess we're gonna zip zap out of here, huh? I don't think there's any more we can do in here. We we still have yet to find the the people that will pay us for those bubble gems. They, we came across somebody was mentioning something long time ago. Hey! 
Yeah, speaking of constipation. Mario. Alright. Uh, I think that's where we came from. Is there another entrance, or is it all just leading to that shrine? It's fine if it was. I just want to make sure. Yeah. Uh, but I guess since I know you can do this, I'm going to just go ahead and have him rush it. And just see if he uncovers anything useful. Might as well put him to use, you know? Here I go! He's like, I don't want to do that again. It is very satisfying, actually, clearing out rocks with that amount of speed and knowing that there's really no limit. I can do it. There's just a little bit of a cool down. See, there we go. I got some opal for free. Here I go. Goro. Sorry, I know this is a little bit re repetitive, but. Like I said, I just wanted to see if there was anything else. Because it's a bunch of minerals down here. And when the day comes where I finally figure out how to use them. I or and especially this rock salt. Like, put that stupid rock. You don't need the rock. Alright, how's my is there anything red? No. Hmm. Nothing really flammable. All right, I guess I'm good for now. All right, final rush. Let's go. Let's do it from here, buddy. 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 Come, my dim-witted friend. Ascend. Thank you. Thank you. Now come here and tell me you can do it. Okay, I, I thought that was the only voice on you had was I can do it, and you proved me wrong. Fine, I'll grab it because it's there. Let's get out of here. All right, so uh, I don't think this is a mission critical cave. Obviously, shrines are good to find, but we have other places that need to dislodge rocks from so that we can gain access and make our way up the mountain, which is our primary objective, our prime directive, if you will. Looks like we've had some dips in the stream a little bit, but it presses on. So that's where we need to go. Oh, wait, 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 wait. There was another, right next to there, there was another place where the rocks were all stopped up. Over here, yeah, right here. Okay, well, maybe that was just saying, hey, here's a thing. I wonder if we can cook this. We'll find out. I think it looks pretty darn cooked, but it looks pretty darn nasty, too. Who in the world would eat this voluntarily? It looks rancid. It is not bursting into flames, so apparently it is cooked. Alright, well, uh, we've been here before. But we had to take the cart to go find your big masked butt. We'll grab some more mushrooms or alien uh, appendages, as some on here might believe. And we ascend. Very slowly. Very surely. I mean, this is sheer. 
Okay, we are climbing. Okay. I hope this means our chubby companion can climb. It got dark fast. Alright, so side on teleports. Oh no. I mean, is that is that a thing? Like, do we need to be able to go only where he can go? Like, I have a feeling we're gonna get to the top, and it's gonna be like, oh, I need to break through this big rock barrier. And I can't do it because Oh, I hear him. Okay, he made it! Yay! I continually underestimate you, my friend, just because you are kind of silly. Alright, maybe we get a different answer out of this guy? Mine carts and marble, marble rock roast. Can't stop them, won't stop them, no how. Now I think about it, I haven't seen motor around at all lately. Okay. He should have been working at that mining site, but he hasn't been showing up, not even for lunches. I guess it's no surprise he's missing. He was eating tons of marble rock roast, probably wandered off while munching. Yeah, if I never have to hear the word marbled rock roast again, I'll be thrilled. We are we are getting close though, it looks like. Well, we're getting closer. By definition, we we can't not be getting closer. But I see a glider. I think we need to ascend. I just I think we just need to go straight up pretty much. But let's see what my friend can do with the this bunch of rocks. I can do it! Alright, so, we can assemble a motorized cart from the pieces we have here. Uh, and glide. We can, we can, we can do a lot. Um, I'm looking at the rocket with particular interest. See, all this stuff looks like it's, it's like meant for horizontal traversing, but I feel like we need to go up. Which does not, does not help us. Um, except for the rocket. The rocket helps, but it can only go up so high. Let me, let me see if I can get a wider view. Okay. All right, so we have not found the tower for this area yet. And it looks like this is the final piece for this particular part of the map. Um, I wish I knew what this was. I'll leave it there, but I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember what it was or why I put it there in the first place. Um, yeah, it looks like the thing we need is right up there. And I do see tracks. There's mine tracks up there. So coming down looks like it'll be pretty easy. Getting up, slightly more difficult. I mean, but it's already put together, you know? There's no some assembly required. Let's see what you have to say. My look. I dig all day and every day if marble rock roasts a reward. Oh, now I'll dig all day every day. But no matter how much I dig, I keep finding stuff I didn't understand, and none of it tastes good. Time to cleanse the old palate with more marbled rock roast. Yeah. I'm thinking marbled rock roast is actually really good. And they should, oh, what what is all this? Uh, this is all stuff that you need to look. Okay, so maybe we maybe the entrance is in the cave. Goro! Oh, more rock roast. And this undoubtedly is rock roast as well. Come here. Lend me your strength, I sir. Alright, so now we can ride the rails. To what end? I don't know. Can we make a mine cart? Oh, wait. They have a mine cart. So we just need... Oh, I'm going to try rocket plus mine cart and see where that gets us. I'm pretty sure we're going to jump the track, but I've got to try it. 
That's going to be super fun. This is for you, killer. Just attaching rockets to stuff. Although I guess in theory I should push it further. We have we have a fan. Okay, so that's good. I really don't know how the big big fella is going to keep up with us if I do it this way, but get a rock for my journey. I could probably just use the wheels, like put the wheels together, and not even use the platform. Um, but I'm going to try the lazy way first. I just want to see where this, where all this gets us. Oh, here's a problem. Oh wait, it's not attached. I'm just thinking if I activate... That the rocket's gonna go off too, yeah. Here I go. I can do it. All right, so that's how he comes with us. Sure. Nice. Here I go. Uh, yeah. Sure. I'm glad he's enthusiastic. Oh, Goro, come back, come back, come back, come back. Right here, right here, right here. Oh, crap. Wait. Oh, sorry, buddy. Oh, we're almost out of juice. Here I go. Nice. And just enough to get us to the top. Gonna poke you to death, you big turd. Okay, this this is cruel. I'm I'm I need to just bludgeon you to death and get it over with. Oh, his tongue was like lagging out of the side of his mouth. Like, oh, like I don't I don't want to beat. Some oh crap! My mercy has been mistaken for weakness. By mercy, I mean a quick death. So. All right, buddy, you know what to do. Can you do it? Doggone it! Would you just do it when I tell you to? There you go. All right. All right. So this is more or less going to plan, as I as I had expected slash hoped. Um. As my big brain has given us, I'm well. Everything about the except the rocket. The rocket was a little bit of a of a bummer. I think we can fuse this to the front of this, though, right? Keep off any. It's almost like a cow, like the old the the cow prods that they used to put. Or they used to call them. I think it was a like cattle catchers or something that they put on the old school trains. To keep them from, uh, to get them off the track. Yeah, that's pretty badass looking. I'll tell you what, let's let's go double the fan power. I want to go super duper fast. Yes, we can. Oh yeah, there's no way this massive monstrosity is gonna have any problem. Fire key swing, a rare fire key swing. It's not usually on fire, but it does produce a powerful blaze when stimulated. Interesting. Here I go. Yeah, we can't harvest him. That kind of sucks. 
Could have been misfire. Oh, no, we want you to do this. Nice. Oh, this is bad. Um, I'm probably going to need to charge up my one last bit. Can we get up there? Can we get up there? Can we get up there? Oh, just in time. Look at that. End of the road. The game certainly didn't plan that out. That was all my ingenuity. Let's see here. Reminders for Hylian workers. The red cell. Okay, we don't care about that. We, we get it. Gloom, bad, red substance. All right. What's, what's this? Wow, they got some medieval looking mine carts here. All right. We made it. Let's go ahead and save as that progress was, was good. Good, good, good. That was fun. Oh. Oh, I thought the game locked up on me. Link, over there! You're not even looking that direction. What? Okay. It's this way! Up here? Back about over here. That looks like it goes down. Up this way, I guess. Oh, that's a lot of uh, goo. You coming, buddy? I need you to move this big lumpy thing. What, are you sulking? Am I, am I not going the right way for you? Am I not going the way you want me to go? What? What is it, boy? Which way? Okay, I got it. Cutscene! I think it was near here. When I came up the mountain, I saw her. The princess was standing right here, Goro. And Who then crap she is Goro? gave me this fancy mask to wear around. After that, um... Oh, jeez. It's no use. I can't remember anything that happened after that. This is my surprised face. Surprise Pikachu? Oh. 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 There she is! Princess! Princess Zelda! We need to talk to you! It's dangerous! Clear that she's not Zelda. <sighs> oh. I think it's gonna hurt head quickly. Okay. I just crapped my pants. Huh? Whoa! That thing broke out of the crater like it was nothing. Is that marbled rock? Is it alive? And there's three of those things? Hang on, no, those are heads. It's so big. Again, we're talking about the structure, the rock structure that we're seeing in front of us here. How could something that large appear out of nowhere like that? I've never seen anything like this on Death Mountain, Goro. I don't know if that's a tick he has or what. Why do you keep saying Goro? It's like Garo, Garo, Goro, Goro. If we don't take that thing out, who knows what will happen to Princess Zelda? You moron! You God, cannot be this thing! Link, would you please tell this goober that is not Zelda? Zelda does not like walk like a zombie out of... Oh, but I can't exactly charge at it from down here. Any ideas, Link? None whatsoever. You moron. Alright. So. We need to get up there. Go ahead and... Oh, we can't save. Interesting. All right. Well, I see some uh, options for upwards 
mobility. Uh, oh, it's got wheels on it. Okay, all right. Um, huh. Let's take a look around. Uh, we could go down to that shrine real quick. Thinking that might be what I do. Because that gives us a save point up here. I just need to make sure that I can get back up here. Come down there. Uh, I don't see a great way to make that happen, unfortunately. Yeah, maybe, maybe I don't want to do that right now. Here's... Oh, gosh. I mean, I think I, think I could climb. But here's the thing, folks. Unfortunately, um, I am up against a little bit of a hard break today because uh, I do have to be somewhere in about an hour, and it takes about that long to get there. So I don't... This is going to require a little more planning, a little more thought, this whole battle here. So, we're going to go down here. And hopefully we can climb our way back up there. When we're done here. But at least this... Oh no! Huh? Oh no! Wait. Are you going to take us down to the bottom? No, okay. Alright, so I can't. Uh, I can't do that first. I am stuck here fighting this thing. And it does reset everything, so if I screw up... What do those things do again? These little... Oh, well, let's... Let's find out. Let's find out what these do. I can do it! Okay. Plan is working perfectly. I just don't know what those little things do. And I can't break them off, so they are they are a part of this. I mean, clearly we need to go up, but I don't know if climbing is the best way. And if we launch, these don't go up. Like they can go, they can glide and they can go down, but they don't go up. There's a lot of them though. They all have the same constitution. So it's like I need to take one of them up or launch one of them up. But there's no. Wait, can I, can I orient these vertically? I don't think so. I can, but I can't activate them like this. Well, what happens if I activate it? Okay. Um. I should not be using that awesome weapon for such a mundane task. Alright, can I take these off? No. Okay, so I'm not supposed to use any of the pieces... I guess I could use this. Because I'm thinking, like, what if I use the updraft with the whole hook thing? I just don't, uh... I don't see a way to get any vertical, any latitude with these. I mean, all we can do is poke around right now and just try to get a lay of the land, figure out what's what. Can we touch this? We can touch it. It looks like we can climb it. We can climb it. Okay. We are taking damage from this, so we can't do that. Oh, we're taking a lot of damage. Okay. Um. All right, so we can't. We can climb up this way. 
Whoa, whoa, hey, buddy, I'm not hurting you at all. Maybe those are just meant for our downward progress. I, I don't know. I don't. I don't see how to make those go vertical. That's the problem. I can climb up here. this 100 famous mountains of Hyrule number one death mountain summit well, that's fantastic here's the problem we can't it's got to be death from above right we've got to be able to attack them from above like launch him down because we can't we can't climb up beyond this as high as we go without the lava. So we need to get above it. Oh, those are big balls. Goodness gracious, great balls of fire. Here I go. Alright, let's see if we can get you up there. Not even close. Alright, so there's definitely something we need to do with these. Fires. Which was pretty obvious, but... exactly how they're useful. Well, I'll tell you what, let's let's just go ahead and put this here and see where it takes us. Oh, it can go up! See, that's why you gotta try new things, folks. All right. So we're going up. Can you hit it from here, buddy? Your little laser thing, your little pointer thing seems to indicate you can. Nice! Here I go. Sweet freaking action. Here we go, buddy. Let's go, buddy. Woohoo! Awesome. It probably should have occurred to me that you could use up and down. Well, if you have that thing, you can you can maneuver it up and down. But maybe it's those little little pillars that were on the wings that allowed us to do it. I don't know. But that was a lot easier than I expected. I thought this was going to be a drag-out fight that was going to take forever. We we did it! We did it! What was that thing anyway? Your mother, Trebek. I thought Princess Zelda walked off somewhere around here. It wasn't Princess what? Zelda. What? Oh, you don't suppose she fell into that hole, do you? That would be awful! Come on, Link, let's hurry down there! No, that would be awful, you moron. Yeah. Princess Zelda, don't worry, we're coming! Uh... Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna save here. And fortunately, that does give us a good stopping point. I'm gonna save again, just in case, because that was a lot of stuff we did. Um, yeah. So, thank you so much for, for joining me here. I really appreciate it. Again, shout out, uh, thank you to Llama. Uh, for for bringing folks here, I will kill her uh, as per usual. Great to have you here. Good good conversations. Um, tiny players, uh, appreciate the the offer for the the overlay. We'll see if if we can work together on something. I'm not really sure at this point uh, if that's where the direction I want to go, but I will definitely reach out to you after after we get some stuff squared away today. Um, yeah, and uh, yeah, uh, hopefully I'll be able to reach out to y'all on on some Discord discording and 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 get to know some folks a little better and uh yeah 
Uh, just thank you for anybody who stopped by. I really appreciate you taking your time to watch these zany adventures with a guy who just isn't great at video games. Love video games. Loved them since I was a kid, but I'm just not the best at them. But we're making our way through. Made some good progress. Feels good today. And uh, if nothing else, more than likely, uh, I will see you hopefully next Saturday. Behold the wonders.